whoa, whoa, whoa. Mind you, we should probably not be on this overlay, actually. Let's just go straight in game. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. We return to the build zoo. Should be good fun. Uh, I hope everyone's doing good. I kind of wanted to start an hour early today. Uh, but I woke up really late, so I didn't end up doing it an hour early. Just like yesterday, if you remember, we actually started an hour early. I ended the stream at about the same time, but we'd been going a bit longer. So this one will probably go a bit further into the evening as we uh, round out the last of the classes. We get back in there. So yesterday we tried... Support Warrior, which is moving on, basically, with part two. We tried Support Warrior, which was pretty interesting. Um, you know, it, it had its uses. Should I do this on NA today? No, 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 because EU people had a sense that they were going to get the code yesterday, and then I sort of robbed that from them, so we should probably stay on EU. Um, we tried Kill Shot, which wasn't fun at all, because I was just getting pew-pewed by a range of the whole game. Um, uh, and we didn't really have much team play to get rid of him or whatnot. Uh, now Guardian, did we? Try, we didn't try Guardian. We didn't try Rev. We didn't try Ranger. We did Thief, which felt like it would have been quite fun. Except I feel like when I queue on Thief, I'm gonna get like Thief players, like fucking try hard Thief hard and like play it all the time. And like whenever you play it, the matchmaker is gonna put you against other ones, and then they'll just run around camping you all game. So like, there's I always feel like there's a huge like road to climb if I ever play Thief because you have to get like massively into this whole other mindset or people just fucking follow you and that's kind of what happened we just got farmed it wasn't really a game we could allow the build to flourish but we did play it um engineer we did scrapper and I actually think it was pretty good uh it was good fun the game that we played on scrapper uh it could have been a little bit better maybe um but it wasn't bad now we wanted to do another match on scrapper for like maybe a support version of scrapper uh because the auto attacks heal a bit more there was a there was a buff to these but i'm not sure i want to do that today i don't think it's high enough on the list compared to all the other stuff we've got left to do we played a support ellie a couple of support ellie games which i thought were pretty fun and we actually played uh dps tempest which uh was very fun actually i think did pretty well we actually got a triple kill at bell uh we were standing next to a support on our team but the support didn't really do any support to us he just died while he was on the on the node so, uh, and then we, we got a triple kill, which is pretty good. I did notice one of you guys clipped that as well. You never gave it a title, so no one will watch it. If you're going to make clips, I love people making clips. But um, if you don't, if you don't uh, title them, people won't see them. Anyway, so that was cool. And then we have Mesmer to try. So, so the question is, all right, what do we want to see first? Necro with Death Nother, Mesmer with the new Alacrity Chrono stuff, or just in general the new CI stuff. Uh, Ranger. Revenant or Guardian? There's one concept out for Guardian. So go on, one of you guys vote in chat. I got a bit irritated yesterday because it, it was it was not a long stream, but I was already asking people, hey, what do you want to see? And apparently everyone that had tuned in at the start had already tuned out. And it was a bunch of new people that had no idea what we were doing. And they just all spammed a bunch of random stuff that we'd already done. So let's just be clear right now. How's the little bit nerfed hollow? I really like it. I really like it. I think it's very good. Um... We didn't do Necro. We did... We, not on the build zoo. We did Necro the day before. Oh, wait. Did we do Necro? No, we did it the day before. We did it as like a 5Q thing. But that's not actually... Uh, I want to put it on the build zoo itself. It's not on the build zoo. Have I missed the fun? Yeah, you've not missed Necro. Rev, Rev, Range... All right, people want Rev. All right, let's try, let's try out Rev. All right. Uh, who do we want to PvP on as well? Let's do it on Merlin. Yeah, we did, uh, we did We did. play Necro, you're right, but we did that on the day before. That was a master stream, but the build came out on the stream, so we got, like, really distracted, if you remember. So, anyway, so, uh, let's see. WP for lunch? Yeah, I guess it is about lunchtime. Well, you must be uh, East Coast, United States, then, if it's lunch for you, Ruffle. Bit of an early lunch. What do I think about baby metal? I don't really know what baby metal is. What is baby metal? Oh, we got a chest of loyalty. Grab some laurels. A little bit more gold finds. Which I've been told by the guys isn't actually that good. Okay, so. Um, concept here is both Malix with uh, Call to Anguish had a massive radius buff. So this CCs the fuck out of people. And Jarlis has a bit more quality of life on the road. But this is AoE also now. So I want to run a Jarlis Malix setup. But I think I want it to be Herald. I think I want it to be Invocation, 
Retribution. Herald. And I think I want it to be about, like, channels and shit. Now, we actually got a pretty good build given to us on the last build zoo that was to do with rev stuff. Uh, I don't know whether that player is actually still actively watching or, or thinking about this stuff. So, Swashbuckler looks okay to me for a build like this. Hit hard, get a bit of condi damage on there. Uh, what's the reverse of Swashbuckler? I can't remember what the reverse of Swashbuckler is. And I appreciate that's a very fringe amulet a lot of people don't use. I mean, we could go... I mean, Sage has the resustain on the healing power. It's a Japanese metal band. But well, I don't know who they are. I've got no idea. I'm just going to play it safe with leadership for now. Generic rune. Give me some cleanse and whatnot. Um, uh, my instinct is to keep a staff. But what I want to do is I want to do sword, shield. Actually, maybe we don't have a staff. Maybe we do mace shield. Maybe mace shield is really fun. I want to build this as kind of like a side noter. The thing is, you have to be really, like, you have to know the game. And you have to have a good sense of how much pressure your the build, the, the, the profession's got or whatever. And I'm very out of my depth on this. Probably want cleanse. Probably do want the might stack. Probably do want the extra crit. Probably. What are we getting on swap here? We're getting slow and torment. And we're also getting... Barrier. Oh, barrier and weakness. Let's try Song of the Mists. Remember Break Bar and Rev Shield? <clears throat> yeah, that was like the first thing that they demoed with it, right? While we have Retail, de increased damage, gain might when we strike foes, Retail lasts 50% longer. That's pretty huge. Or steadfast rejuvenation. I mean, we're not. Where where is our retail source though? Retail on heal skill for four seconds. Retail after dodge. It's not any other retail on the build though, is there? This should add retail. Song of the Mist should be retail on swap for the for Jarlis. Spirit Boon gives us retail, but only on Carla. Obviously, when you do Carla, you can take the first adept and you get. You get stuff there. What else have they recently done? I mean, there's so many options here. I'm completely out of my depth. Trying to build some kind of like bruisery, like fighty kind of builds on Rev. I, I really am out of my depth. I don't know what specializations I would take. I actually have, out of any build zoo moment you've seen between this one or the previous one, I feel most newbie right here, right this moment. I feel fucking... Increased damage to weaken foes. We weaken on swap. Disabling a foe in any way inflicts weakness. I mean, this is a good kind of anti-power setup we've got going on here. Damage reduction for each point of upkeep. I mean, should we not do steadfast? What, what are we reju re regenerating from? I think we go sage. And I think we go for like a regenerative variant. I don't think this is value. Reduce damage to people. Uh, Plane our protections, OP. Let's do planar protection. I do like me some planar protection. So we just got lots of weakness. Gain prop when I'm disabled and might when I break out of a stun. I don't know whether I care that much about that one. <clears throat> um, might when I get fury. Or if we're doing the sage thing, we could do rapid flow instead. But it's not actually that much resustain. I think Song in the Mist is okay. Now, do we care about the movement speed more than we care about regen healing for more? Probably we want regen healing more. And gaining regen when we're low. This is perma regen as long as we're dipping below 50% health or whatever. Uh, using a consumed skill heals me. I think the damage reduction there is kind of a good idea. Heal when I grant boon. Is that just allies or is that me as well? Your facet passives affect uh, additional targets and you retain them. Well, I'm not even really using many facets. So we can stay forceful persistence. Go to my PvE short by build. But that's not based on new balance. Guys, listen to me. The build zoo is about new balance. We're not just making random builds. 
We're, we're playing with the new balance, all right? So there was nothing for that short bow build that new balance affected. It was just like PvE lifesteal uh, potency on the healing. That was all that changed for that. There was no other stuff. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so let's try something like this. I feel like I still want Sword Axe, though. Let's turn this off. Let's go Sword Axe. I seem to remember... Let's take a pretty one as well. I seem to remember... Oh, my God. Uh, did we go Jaw Mag's Breath or the Fiery Dragon Sword? Let's go Jaw Mag's Breath. The, uh... This felt okay last time. Actually, do you know what? Let's swap. Let's have kind of... Axe 4 is kind of like a, a keep up, catch up kind of mechanic. Uh, where we can cling to a target. And so is um, Sword 3. So let's let's split those. So we can catch up with the Axe 4. Or we can catch up with the Sword 3. Also, big delay now on this set. This is more of a defensive set, I guess. We can just try it like this. Let's see how we do. Okay, alright. Oh, I should have mentioned this. Okay, the other thing, everybody. I wish people were smart enough to know and just start doing it. The other thing is, guys, uh, I'm giving an Aureen code away. If any of you were here on yesterday's stream, was nobody here at yesterday's stream? Um, I'm giving an Aureen code away. So, if you, uh, to one person who will be in my party at some point over the course of today's stream. So, if you want to play with me, send a party request. All you have to do is, it's on EU, and all you have to do is type slash join list. That's all you have to do. This, just this, uh, in your chat box, and you will, you'll ping into my party. And then we'll play some unranked together. And at some point today, one of you will get an Aureen code. But you have to be in party playing with me. Okay, so that's the idea. So if you want to do it, send your join request now. And uh, hopefully we'll get a full party of five. If only one dude wants a code, then that's fine. Two dudes. That Asian potato is super problematic. Om oh, yikes. What's problematic about it? You, you, you strike me as quite a fragile person if you think that some ink on a potato face is problematic. What server? I just said that. I don't have many fury sources, so incense response probably isn't that good. Um, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, we get it on swap, right? And we could get it on heal as well. But you're right, without the glint facet... Um, Oh, someone said, sorry, need to bail. Good luck. All right, no worries. Okay, someone else has joined. I like the idea maybe they got nervous. I don't know about this. This is interesting. Because we can use the Herald F2 plus the Hammers. And we're actually at 9 degen, right? So if we ran this as well. But somehow I don't think that that is the best way of playing. I wonder even if this is... I mean, shield skills remove conditions is pretty cool since we're using a shield. Is the flat damage from this actually that good? I retain the passive. So what does the passive of dwarf do? Reduces incoming damage. So I could double tap that on the other GM. And I would have it for a while. But I mean, if I'm doing that, then I deny myself. I mean, and the passive on... Um, Okay, there we go. We got a team of five. The passive on uh, the the Malik side isn't that good. I mean, what if I subbed Malix out? I mean, the thing is, we want to try both of these, right? We want to try the new here, and we want to try the new chains. We should probably go in the pit. This is the kind of build where going in the pit is really good. Because you can actually get a fucking sense of what it's doing, if it's any good. So, on swaps are kind of interesting here as well. Because you have, like, two separate... Timers to trigger on swaps. Cleansing. Uh, I mean, cleansing on energy on both is kind of weird, but I'll just leave it there by default for now. <clears throat> so let's see what we got. Just need someone to like hit me, especially like if it's a mirage or something like this. It'd be very useful. Rip those enchantments. Get some cleanse there. Didn't really do much pressure before I then stalled out. Do 
Does that diminish, um, what's it called as well? I'm not using my other set, I'm just getting melted. I don't know, I don't know. I've definitely fought a build that can fight against Mirage very well. I mean, we're just going to get rocked if we try to go to a side point like that. Let's see what else we can do. Maybe I need to just play a bit more aggressive. Because ultimately I'm just standing there in an open field getting infinite horizoned. It might be a playstyle thing, but it feels to me like the build's really weak instantly. Same for uh, this uh, Berserker. Feels like we have no pressure. Aren't we on like a Grenthroom setup before? Throw this in. We only get the one taunt there. Axe 4 doesn't do anything. He dodges Axe 5. I've got someone auto attacking me. Oh, it's a clone, but someone dodge rolled to trigger that. This guy. Let's try the uh, chains there. The uh, infinite horizon dodges the chains. That's a clone. Okay, that guy died, but he's standing there not doing anything. This this weapon set here feels really lame. Yeah, maybe we just needed to use Malix a bit better, because whenever we this this was buffed as well, right? Whenever we trigger a thing. It pulses out a little bit more, right? I mean, that's the thing. The big dodges from that guy. Transferal with the two. Cleanse with the shield five. I should be in Malix already, and I'm not. I just hate how this weapon set feels like it's missing a skill, you know? Now, we're not corruption traded, so we don't actually uh, do anything. Un uh, unrelenting Assault avoids full counter. This forge is so energy intensive. For what exactly? I like the idea of the Malix combo uh, into Shield 5, where you can basically keep pulsing the damage around you while, you know... Not in Vulm, but as good as in Vulm uh, in, uh, in a lot of situations. That feels pretty good. That feels like a cool like little mix right there. Like this here. This precise combo. I'm tanking all of his damage and throwing Torment on him. He's a similar build. What's he running? He's on Centaur though. That's weird. Oh, I think he's just a support. That's why we're not taking any damage. Felt pretty good, shrugging that off. It feels very much like the Condi is a bigger element here. What? Well, why was I removed? Someone's got Dishonor. Someone went AFK while we were queuing and forced Dishonor on us. Okay, so let's leave now. And let's, if you want to play with me and get the Aureen code, can you please re-invite yourself and then we'll queue again. And we'll stand around doing nothing again for ages. So there's one of you. I'm expecting four invites and someone went AFK. Alright, there we go. A fifth can join if they want as well, by the way. Let's see if we can kill a bronze reaper, shall we? got stabbed because of shroud so our axe 5 won't cc so we have to avoid it i don't know whether we're gonna kill the bronze reaper keep the weakness up so shroud isn't that scary he already healed before he uh went in so we don't have to worry about a quick cc after that get the uh stance up kato's back so we have to restart the queue again so, shield 5 into shroud is really good, especially since he cast his skill into my fingers. Kind of want to take his might, that's the thing. Uh, got the heal and he's dead. Okay, but still, I felt very uh, vulnerable there. 
<laughs> it's bronze iron. It might not be real bronze, obviously. Really using the new chains that well. I'm not sure how many opportunities that buff is actually offering the game. Do you know what I mean? He's in rampage, so we probably stay on the defensive set for a second. Stun break into shield five. When he dodges away, we move out. Rampage should be over in a second, right? I need more energy for an unrelenting assault. Uh, we got unrel. Oh, that was so perfect. He arcinged into our. Um, Oh, oh, it's going to do a thing. We did it. Uh, he shake it off. Uh, I'm going to get pulled back. I'm dead. But still, that was pretty good. Yeah, so we can't kill Mirage and we can't kill Warriors. That's fun. Um, he uh, he arcinged into shield five and then full countered after I wasn't doing anything. So I don't know. This, this, this is either that I'm just really off point with how I'm playing it. Yeah. Someone says, am I ever going to continue the audiobook series? I am. I'd love to donate on Patreon, but I'm a broke-ass college student. Well, you can't pay me for the audiobook anyway. That's why it's not on Patreon. A lot of Ghost of Ascalon is done, but I'm not allowed to have it on Patreon because I can't pay. I can't make people pay for it. That's a part of the terms of me being able to do it in the first place. So, uh, so you're just going to have to wait for me to release it for free to everyone, and then you get it. Is Song of the Mist that good? Is leadership what's what's dragging me down here? What else was there? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Didn't we see it on Grenth before? What, I, I'm sure we saw a Grenth variant. But why did we see a Grenth variant on this build? Oh, was it Grenth? Or was it something to do with poison? Do you guys remember? Was anyone here at the previous build zoo? Or am I just here talking into a mic, churning through people? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? What's my in-game name? Uh, Lys, L-Y-S. Maybe we need to go... Um, uh, what does Salvation offer us? Take less damage after healing. It lasts longer if I heal an ally. It's not me. Well, yeah, maybe it was Tormenting Runes. Maybe. No, but I think it was a weirder synergy than that that we were looking at. And the build felt pretty fun last time. I don't know. Maybe people could check the VOD of the... Uh... This is just not worth anything. But corruption... Corruption just feels so... I feel sticky and slow at the moment as well. I feel like it's not flowing like it was last time I was playing this. But maybe the uh, the legends were a bit different back then. This is uh, on crit though, and if we're sage, then that's like, why? Why are you playing on spirit watch? We're 5Q! This... <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll go Retribution again. Let's go like this, I guess. Do I cook the potato afterwards? Yeah, I do. I do, absolutely, yeah. Let's try tormenting. What's our durations right now? They're shite. Was it Mirage? But uh, after we evaded, no. I mean, we could just take some kind of big damage uh, rune. Like Condi rune. Like Adventure has just got a high, high Condi stack on it. Not really sure what I want to do. 
We've got 20 seconds to make a decision. I'm like, oh, there's a lot of like shit in all. <clears throat> oh, Cougar voted on it. That's brilliant. Feels weird to be a herald and not trigger uh, any facets. Okay, I think I can mace three in that. Never mind, too late. I don't know whether that really would have worked. Stand a little bit spread so that I don't get just bombed. Like cleaved out with some bassy venom or some shit. Put a ping on the uh, scourge because no one else has. Fall up to it. Fall off, I guess. Gotta help this guy, give him the uh, uh, Jarlis ult. It's a lot of um, energy though, so I don't know. I got a Condi Thief on me. We have to give ourselves resist. I'm dead anyway. Okay, so we took, so the problem here was they literally have one, two, they have the whole team here. Literally they're five, all five of them just bombed three of us while the other two capped the other nodes, so. Sort of doesn't matter what the build was. <clears throat> Imagine everyone using those builds for the Halloween farm. I think the best build that I've been posting for the Halloween farm right now is the Renegade one. The Renegade one is... I never actually mentioned it in the commentary, I don't think. But uh, as far as, like, loot tagging and shit is concerned, the Renegade build is, like... Oh, uh, fuck. I'm fucking this up. The Renegade one is really good. Um... Because you'll, you'll get a tag and it's, you know, there's just such high fun. This is good. Look how fast the road comes back and how fast Maze 3 comes back. And it doesn't feel clunky anymore. I get a double blast very cleanly. I wonder why it took them all this time to increase the road. It feels like that should be like a launch thing almost, you know. I want to take the 1v1. I think I can get there in time. Especially if I use this. I might be wrong. I am wrong. All right. If he, uh, okay, good. He, um, he tried to staff, uh, five, which would go through my thing. Okay, he auto ghastly breaches, so we just stay out of that. Okay, it's done now. So when do I use my facet? That's the thing. My, uh, yeah, my facet. Some confusion on him. Need to get the elite up. The elite is like a big thing. It's like a really big thing. He's just reflected all the Condi back onto me. We have to go... Uh, uh, oh, he's not running Soul Marks. That's what's actually happening. Uh, okay, he missed his fear because of my unrelenting assault. So we can just stomp. I was going to put the road down, which would be stab. He, um... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to use the, 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 the Doliac thing. No fucking way. Get that out of here. No. Random. He says how. He's, uh, so there's a trait he should be running, which makes his, his uh, marks unblockable. But I just blocked it. Uh, the fear that should have broken my shield 5. He would have won that if he had some marks. He's taken some other crappy trait instead. We just got decapped. That's sort of my bad. I kind of want to be at far. Because the Scourge might respawn onto me. I don't know. It's a weird map though, because people move very oddly on this one. I'll just full cap it. Why not? <clears> hmm. <throat> Well, look, the, the Firebrand Flamethrower thing is good. It's not as good as I probably made it out in the video. But the thing is, for loot tagging, you don't get the range, right? The Renegade one, you're getting that 900 chip away instantly. You see something, and you're already, you know, laying the pounds down. All right, so this is... All right, this is Okay, he's triple signets and hammer. So he's playing something fun as well. Let's taunt him in. Get some chill up. He's shaking it offs already. I don't... Uh, fuck, do you know what I should be doing? He got the full combo on me there. Get the weakness up. Don't have the uh, energy. I should get the wall up. You see the, the road, sorry? You see that road? We don't have the thing. Because the road is uh, stabbed. Look, I have fucking five stab on me. Can we taunt him now? He's got way more sustain than, than I can get through. And he's not being uh, brain dead. He's actually waiting. Unrelenting Assault took so long to start there. So I, I, I ate another hit. I don't have any pressure. I'm dying to fucking Hammer Warriors. Oh, shit. 
He got fucking... Um, what ripped him? Maybe it was Spinal Shivers? He lost 10 stab. And then uh, my, my dance state got him. I think I just... I need to pressure back harder or something. We never got decapped. Mm, energy. Energy is just so fucking bad. We haven't had a single AoE... Uh, do you know what I should have done there? I should have roaded earlier. Give him a road so my uh, guy isn't getting blown up. We can, um, uh, not in a Reaper, I'm afraid. Might be time out on that. He's got good Condi on him right now. Thing is, he'll probably rally. I've got a Condi Thief on me again now, so I'm just immobed and stuck in, in place. <clears throat> Thief has been the best tagger in Halloween since ages ago. You don't often meet enough enemies for the target cup of three to really matter. The important thing is mobility where Thief is king. That's interesting. You know. Do you believe that even since mounts became a thing? When will I be uploading my open world builds? You put a G there. I think you mean build, right? For Warrior? <clears throat> uh, hopefully very soon. Very soon, in fact. Um, I think Warrior might be next. It's either Warrior or Ranger next. So can I do anything here versus all those players? Absolutely not. So we can just keep moving because he sold two super aggressively. So now he has to go back. You see, so sort of like... get on the Reaper. Uh, I wish I wasn't falling on this shit map. Should be in my thing again. So outnumbered. Look. Why am I here against all these players? <clears throat> We're losing this. No, I'm playing Death Nova again today, Nocta. I already said that on the stream. I already talked about Death Nova. I'm just kind of respawning and dying. This guy, if we uh, CC him, he'll probably port back up. No, yeah, there you go. So we get the port back up. See, that was like, that we felt like we hit him there. We got a heal skill in two, two animations. That's all we did. We pressed two buttons and we got his heal skill. I mean, he's not a very good Scourge at all because his build's bad and, and so on and so on. But still, I mean, maybe it's just my weapon priority is off. Like how I'm thinking of this. We need to break that bandage. I'm going to give Jarlis to that body so it doesn't cleave, get cleaved down. It's a theory anyway. I want more energy. This is fucking lame. Rev is so lame, guys. I, I fucking hate playing Rev. So, oh, animations. Any other class would just be literally, like, sp spamming that shit. Obviously, there's a level of this that I'm just not a Rev player, so... But, wow. Chat, do you know if when I can find a video of where WP talks about his next living world let's play? No, I haven't really talked about it in a video. I like the heal, the big cleanse. And look at this, playing our protection into his auto dagger storm. So here we can, if we clip him with that five. Oh, this is good. We just got Signet, I think. Stay with him. Oh, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. I don't think he can get out. Right? I mean, it was a 2v1, but still. I do enjoy this now. This feels a lot better. This feels really good. I like this. I like a build that's not really very swift, but is using that combo a lot. So we've got top defense and healing that game. I don't know. Do we try again? Do I have any inspiration on how to actually make this a little bit more decent or play a bit more decently? Please let me worry. Not that I'm not not only I am enjoying the the guides, but the amount of work you've invested in them, you're doing excellent. Thanks very much. I think a lot of people don't realize that, like, all that work had been done, like, well, not all, all, not all of it, but the vast majority of it, I'd already, like, figured out and assessed and knew what it was going to entail by the first video. It, it's funny how, um, my sense of how much there is in the undertaking I've gone in is, like, there at the gate, and for a lot of other people, it only comes, like, you know, 
weeks later once the content itself is there. And you know what? I think unless someone's got a really big like idea for Rev that I, I'm i missing or I'll probably just move on because I, I don't like dying to Hammer Warriors and, and shit like that. Because I'm just not good at it. I mean, charge mist maybe would be a thing, right? Probably a bit more value because I'd get my energy back. I've been bitching about energy that last game. Or I write of the Great Dwarf, but only once every 90 seconds. Feels a bit weird. Let's leave it there. Let's leave Rev there. That's all I can think, really. Two skills. I think there is a good build here, by the way. I think somewhere in this class now, there's a very good side note. I genuinely do think that. But I, I'm not Revy enough to know it straight up. I don't think staff is better. I probably a big thing is I need to treat this set like staff. This is a defensive set and nothing else. Maybe the particular mix of the weapons. Maybe if I went back to this. Let's try one more. I want to try try this. Let's go back to this. So there's always feels like there's a bit of pressure no matter which set I'm on. Because like before I had just completely dead like times. You think going core with extra energy on the F2? Yeah, I mean, you could definitely try that. I mean, what's our F2 giving us? I mean, the shield is big, though. The shield is like... I'm taking Herald for shield here, really. I think the shield is, like, really important. I don't like the free for all arena to be honest. It's a fiesta. It should be two teams instead. It's not meant to be competitive, guys. It's not meant to be the main event. It's something to do while you queue. It's perfect as a fiesta. If you're getting really competitive and ridiculous about the arena, then you're, you're, you're treating it wrong. Go to actual PvP for that. No, it's perfect for what it, what it's meant to be for how it sits within the rest of the game. The arena is brilliant, I think. See, already this feels a bit better. So I can go uh, mace two, shield five, mace two out the back again. That feels a lot better. This this weapon setup. I mean, he's just a chrono. And chrono isn't, you know, a real build. We'll be looking at that soon. We'll be the chrono soon, Kato. Don't worry. Kato says, I find it funny people always chase me. I'm not sure what it was that made me go on you there. I think it's because I want to fight Mesmers. <clears throat> shield is way worse than Staff. Staff is much better for a lot of other play styles. But Shield is probably better for a, a side node experience. Staff is great. Look, you, you probably don't really know what you're talking about. Staff is very, very, very good for, like, a super aggressive, glassy, standard, like, rev setup with Shiro and running around to do big damage. Because Staff just is the, the ultimate stall mechanism. Because you've got the three and you've got the five, right? Which are moving. You can move while you're in them. You can get the fuck out. It works extremely well for those play styles. And then you can move on to whatever else. But that isn't really relevant when your job is to be 1VX, for example. Let's see what we've got here. And also, you can't really compare shield to... Uh, I needed to dodge that. Um, you can't really compare shield to um, staff anyway, since one is five skills, the other is just two. He played a full healer, tactics, core warrior, and healed for 500k. That's pretty good. Uh, what did going core give you? Because I went spellbreaker on my concept. What were you doing with core? What does shield have that staff doesn't? More condi cleanse. It's actually more stall potential where things are a little bit more static as well. You're not... You, staff, you can't... Like, if you're on a node, all right, and you've got to swap to your defensive set for, for a moment, staff, if you're not, if you're not like, right on the edge, facing the right way at the right moment, staff can cause you to be debunked and lose value there and all kinds of things. Uh, shield will hold you. But shield, you can complement with other things to keep pressuring. You know, when you're side noding, you can't have, like, a totally... Like, this is sort of what you saw last game. You can't have a totally dead moment, right? 
where there's no, you kind of always want to be resustaining. You kind of always want to be pressuring. You want to out, you know, value them at any one moment. If you go to staff, it's just, you know, you've stalled a bit of damage for X time, but you've stalled your own damage for a lot longer, particularly on a play style here where you don't actually get that much pressure out of stuff with an amulet like this. Staff would just be a big stuff. For fuck's sake, what the fuck is this profession? Why did that do that? I don't think I'm going to be able to do much here. We can try, though. Great dwarf for my friends. He's down anyway. I just got fucking clipped by their rev. Random dodge from me. So here, staff would obviously feel a lot better because I could get out. Also, you resustain on... Um, Shield probably a bit better. Wait for the end of that and then do the uh, banish enchantments. Shame on my 2v1 because that was an easy kill. I don't know what Vic was doing. He's gonna hit it. Just got balls rushed. Okay, we get blood res. I can use my three. Bit of extra pressure. My friend needs to go for the rally, not the res. How is this guy still so much health? He's got a Condi Thief in him. Vic died. It's not his fault. It was the Reza. Again, I'm not in my elite. I need to remember to use my elite. Full counter. Uh, we'll give him... Mines. I think that this idea of supporting people with Dwarf doesn't work. Which probably speaks to the... Uh... Did we get the rev? No. Jump out. Uh, I got Mage Bane, I guess because of the uh, the hammers, the swelling hammers. AOE uh, thingies? We have an AFK Necro, come on man, get the fuck out, I'm right in front of spawn. Three double wells over me. Good fear, good spiteful spirit proc there. That was really good. Pretty sure that's what you got. Uh, so I can do that unblockably, right? Oh, he cancelled it. And he dodges with Bulls Rush. That never happens. People never dodge with Bulls Rush, right? Oh, he rampaged and started hitting me again. Oh, he's on me. I'm not even, like, doing anything. I've not put myself into a good position this game yet. Can taunt him in. I don't know. I shouldn't have done the second Q on the fucking rev. disagree. Uh, staff is fine. Fine is is not the same as better. Fine is not the same as better. And besides, you can't just say you just dis you just disagree. Why don't you explain yourself? Why don't you substantiate what you're talking about? Yeah, it's, uh, and also I agree with you. Uh, Spellbreaker is like excellent. So here he's obviously in Glint, but we do just want to um, sack some thunder. I feel like I've got no pressure and I just kind of get ragdolled around. I'm getting carried by my team, both of these games, by the way. Like, super carried. Put weakness on him. Take all of his might. What's the other class? You guys get to choose what the next class is. AWP caught up to your previous p uh, two build zoo. The change of pace compared to your master series was so damn nice. What do you mean? What, because they're just different kind of streams? That's cool, man. Thanks. It's actually 
cleave something up, guys. Uh, fuck! Wrong weapon set. I was hoping that attracted him, even though he was not stealth. It did! We got the fucking kill! I didn't realize that. See, I just legend swapped there, and I wonder whether I should have. Keep the cleave up. This is good. Oh my god, guys, help the fuck out. Uh, big AoE! There you go, that's it! That's the, uh, the new... Oh, and I can pull him in. He was immune, so he got the heal. That was the moment right there. We've been waiting for it. You get the, um... The Jarlis thing. Uh, that won't port me, but it will. Oh, wait, no. It doesn't even really... Maybe I really should be Corruption. Hmm. Yeah, maybe taking the Corruption to the third line, saying, fuck the shield. And, uh... Come on, get off, man. Can you not see who they're hitting? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I can't land on the nav mesh because of the, uh, the thief. I'm not using my shield full much either, and I should, really should be. Hmm. <clears throat> Leaving the bodies probably a little bit much. Like, look, he's bandaging. Okay, we cancelled the bandage when he started autoing. One dodge, his unrelenting for my unrelenting. Keep with him. We get the elite up. Mace cooldowns, I got plus. I'm almost sad there. Okay, he resustains, but we just keep condying him. Taunt him back in. Get him with a five after the I wonder if the hitbox on the 5 should be a bit wider or something. It took ages for that kill. I, I feel like... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we should go uh, Thingy of the Mists as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, we do. We, okay, we got the spell break. You guys ready? You ready to die? Hmm. Dodge at the start again. I did not dodge his bulls rush. Low value heal. What the fuck is going on over here? Uh, his full counter gets really nice timing. We uh, five the rampage. He disengages. We uh, interrupt. And again. Again, this is me uh, basically getting cat. All I had to do was keep him a bit distracted so that Vic could get the kill. Vic's actually going to do something. I I I'm not necessarily. Okay, can we hit him through the wall now? We can. Into Mace 2. He full counters through the wall as well. Axe 5 is shit. Come on, Axe 5. Do something with your life. Unrelenting Assault doesn't land again. I'm getting plus by the Condi Thief. And I don't have, like, stun break access to get out. I don't have what I need. This this is not good. Because I, I, most other builds, I'd be on the boxes already. But here, I'm like, I'm Mage Bane, by the way, so I can't really do much. And I don't have the damage. I think he just shake it off and just invalidates everything I did on both players. He just casts shake it off. And that guy, that guy has a signet, right? But even if he popped his signet, they're just standing next to one another and they would just win. So, yeah. So, I, I've not made a good build here. This is not a good build. Let alone when I'm not dodging stuff or like. How good am I with Wester Sword Dagger build? I have a really guard time learning the rotations. What are you talking about? 
What's a Wester Sword Dagger build? And what's a rotation? We're in a PvP stream. I mean, <laughs> that sounds like I was being sarcastic. I, I meant like a skill rotation. <laughs> I mean. Can I reflect on him with that? I'm in a breach, so I've got to get out. Also, he might just mark for us now and kill us. So be ready for it. I get a plus. Like, I need these plus ones. Otherwise, I'm just, like, useless. we got to help him because he's just been... If he's comfortable to do that, then that's fine. Right, let's get away from this, this trash red field. It was much better on the other zoo where that we had a rev player that was offering some advice. Did he get uh, instant reflexes already? I think he did. Alright, he's dead. I just go back now. Because... Uh, we win with close, and they they're, they're capping mid, so this is like a guaranteed win if I split back now. <clears throat> Goodbye, tormented shield. I'll miss you. Yeah, the new Jarlis road is so nice, right? I do love it. It's very cool. See, we collapse mid. I could have collapsed with them. Let's face it, I'm not a good fighter. Or I can just sit here to make sure nobody out, you know, out rotates. This is a terrible play at any other moment, but because of the point difference, it's all right. All right, so there you go. That's Revenant. We had one good moment with the new buff there. One, where there was a down state and we got the uh, the chains out AoE. And we kind of had a moment with uh, using the Malix through the wall. Okay. Uh, what do you want next, guys? We've got Ranger available. We have Guardian available. We have, um, Death Nova Necro available. And we have Mesmer stuff available. No, I didn't say Warrior Bionic 6. Warrior was done yesterday. Okay, the first person who knows what's going on is Alex Deer. It says, uh, Guardian. So let's do Guardian. All right, so basically the buff here, the main one I want to look at, okay, there were some changes, obviously. We could play support and see how it feels and stuff, but this was a buff, okay? Stoic Demeanor, they, uh, what did they do to Stoic Demeanor? It now inflicts burn as well as slow, I think is what it is. If we ever disable or remove someone, we get burn as well as slow now, all right? So it's kind of a weird one because if you're going for a lot of burn, you probably, you, you, well, passive burn through the uh, the passive, you could do that. I mean, so let's see here. The um, the passive burn is 500 damage versus 655 on this current setup. But basically, this is more, but it will probably trigger a bit less regularly, but a little bit more on demand or whatever. We're just going to see how stoic demeanor feels. We're going to go an all top firebrand, which I don't necessarily believe in, but it could be pretty fun, okay? So we're going to go... Uh, big mansions. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this the character I want to play this on? Yeah, I think this is fine. So we're going to go Axe uh, Shield on the one set. So we can proc Stoic Demeanor on the two, the five, and the three. We can proc Stoic Demeanor on the final mantra we cast on any of these. And I'm going to run uh, the Mantra of Truth. I'm going to run the Mantra. Uh, do we want to go Flame Rush as well? I guess fuck it. And then, um, and then possibly I will go with the mantra. Do we want to go the mantra of law? I mean, this is just big damage. What is the mo the best thing to round me out here? I'm not sure. I'm basically going to build my own janky ass little version of a sage brand here. By the way, that that's essentially what's going on. So we're going to go virtues, and we're going to take glacial heart, which means that when we land the axe two, it dazes. Which, Stoic Demeanors, Burning and Slow, which Glacial Hearts, which is Chill, 
And then if we immobe, we can get like another synergy soon as well. I'll probably take bigger damage with uh, retail. I'll probably take indomitable courage for a stun break on our F3. I don't like having too many matches. How else was I running this? I, I had an, I had another setup going. I had something else where I subbed one of the matches out. I can't remember what it was though. And then for the final line, uh, probably not honor. Let's go. Uh, let's go radiance. Do we, um, would we go Amplified Wrath, maybe? With Zealot's Flame, possibly. Right hand strength. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to go uh, for the other set. What's good on the other set? Let's go Swords Focus. I wasn't set to focus last time I was trying this. I think Swords better, though. We're gonna try Sage. I like. I do like um, uh, Judge's intervention. Yeah, JI is good. It's a bit. You go a bit deep. I tend to go a bit deep when I run this, but if you're very smart with it, you can use it to get out. Judge's over Flame Mantra. Yeah, I kind of want to do that as well. To be honest with you. So wait, what do you want for the third utility slot though? Uh, and then what we can do is we can go the full cheese with the Grenth Rune. Which means that all the chill we do lasts longer. Um, I swear, I, I I was running a setup that was volning as well. That's where I was doing a setup that had Voln. You think contemplation of purity? Without um without medi traits, it's not as good as you might think it is. Save yourselves is kind of funny. Similar sort of thing. Stun break. It's a slightly longer cooldown, but then you're getting a ton of retail, and you're getting a ton of... There's even resistance on there at the start. It obviously doesn't save you from a Condi Bomb, really. This is probably the first time you've ever watched us stream live. Well, hey, it's good to see you. Let's go Contemplation. Um, and then I will pour on this. No, I kind of want... I kind of want the match. I'm used to having match of truth on here. Yeah, this map's a bit of an odd one. Uh, and then what have I got for sigils here? Cleansing and energy, cleansing and energy. I'm just like doing that as a as a baseline. Uh, what the fuck? Where's my shield? There we go. Endless ocean shield. The glacial sword on, I guess. Um, yeah. So something like this, probably. Anyway, the idea is that we just, as we land CCs, we... Wait, why am I on a Mender amulet? Fuck, I almost didn't change that. As we land CCs... I mean, I kind of want to go... Um, I kind of don't want to go Radiance. I kind of want to go... Uh, what's the one that gives you the big symbols and heals? Yeah, this one here. Isn't this one, like, really fucking cool? Increased duration, Radius... And heal allies. Isn't that good for Sage Brand? Let's try with Pure of Heart as well. What's the headpiece? Uh, it's from like the six year. It's like. Um, it's called Luminous. I think you get it for being in the game for fi like five or six years or something like that. I like the uh, the setup um, of having you, when you see these axe twos, the axe twos like days, but now you got that extra like reach on them as well. I don't think I want to really touch that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna axe in this here now. We got reveal on us, so we know we hit them. I'm gonna hold the shield five if I have to in a second. Probably better to be on this. Rampage Warrior on me. Uh, the two is now really kind of weird. I hope you guys counter pressure because holy fuck. Get the this time up. Blinds. CC. Fuck. Oh, illusion of life. Okay, good, 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 good. All he has to do is sustain until this stomp goes through. My ally can stomp without getting CC. I just need to not die until that goes through. That was all I needed to do. 
kind of wanted my focus five, but the cooldown was taking longer than I thought it was going to. I'm, I messed up. I should have done Axe three first. I want my mantra back so badly right now. Come on, guys. Hit it with me. Get some heals. Fuck. Well, who's my ally? He's Lich Form. What's he attacking? Why is he doing zero damage with Lich Form? Go on, go on, hit him. Okay, good, good, good. He got it. But it's too late. It's too late. I think it's because he was using the uh, minions. I think it's because he did the unstable horrors instead of like a couple of autos. I think that's the price of like one, maybe two autos. Do I think they'll announce Guild Wars 3 soon? No, I don't, if they ever do. I don't know. But I don't think so. I got this, rep this fire ran. <laughs> I've got to say, it's not exactly my forte. <laughs> this is probably evident. Uh, do I plus my NG? He's looking low. This is kind of a skill matchup. So... We give him Aegis. He uh, rampages. Oh, fuck, man. You can even break rampage. We can kill him just straight. We can just pressure him do this. This is not a problem for us. He broke my uh, thingy, so now we can res. Fuck off. What the fuck? My, why did my mansion not do anything? So you see the Condi range we push up? Okay, so we just do this. When we see the hammer, we shield five, and then we go back. <clears throat> I don't know. It's this third line. I'm not sure whether I'm running the right line here. I'm not sure whether honor is the right way to go. But I think it has a bit more synergy with the sage idea. So he's vengeance. All my engineer needs to do is just not die straight away, which he won't. So this is looking pretty bad. We can drop some shit on this here. Go for the big damage. And then one more as well, if we can. And then I start rezzing. Actually, let's get uh, these two up. And now let's start rezzing. Okay, good. He rallies. If I hadn't done that, I think that the uh, rev would have uh, scored the kill there. I'm never critting. Maybe, uh, maybe thingy is better. Got thief on me. Get both of these. Just stack some condies on him. Unrelenting assault, so we wait a second. I gotta be really careful. I kinda want a target to JI out to right now. The dead eyes on me. I need to uh, Aegis. Need to remember that my five is actually worth something. I haven't passed it this game already. Who's my uh, fight partner right now? Where's the rest of the team as well? Because this is looking fucking dangerous as fuck. What, what's everyone doing? Ugh. Okay, he's on that. Warrior's low. I don't know what happened. Did he score a kill? Okay, where is this guy? We can kill him now. Get that in. It might be a minute. Look at his condies. We need the uh, retail there. Uh, uh, yeah, resist. Sorry. Okay, he's dead. The warrior didn't come up and help him, which is good for us. We kill him before the uh, pet dies. My team finally won something. What happened to the Mesmer? Sorry, what? I, last I saw that Mesmer was walking to the node. I just wait a second. Um, I think we can do the same thing. Oh uh, yeah, we got a plus. This is good. Just stay aggressive and then we kill it and then we can do this. Uh, probably actually this was inefficient. I could have um, just stomped it. That would have rallied anyway. Now I've spent the meteor on it. But uh, yeah, because he was on node. If the warrior was off node, the other play was the right one. That was a bit inefficient. Uh, what else we got here? He 
He uh he worm ports, so we push in again. CC again. Matches up. Oh, baby. This build has some real potential. I mean, uh, uh, this this concept, not builds. I don't know whether I'm really running it the right way. Oh, fuck. Can I still taunt with the two? He's immune. Double swap for the axe. More CCs. So we get two kills. This guy was never down, I guess. Uh, I kind of wanted to do a swift on the last page there, but I wasn't used to the uh, lower page count that I currently have. He almost caused my focus four to cancel cast by pointing to where he did. I'm not actually going to um, try and res through that. I just want to incapacitate. He's got a good CC there. He's resustaining. My ally is healing, so that's good. All right. I'm going to get these mansions back, man. It's quite costly to do the last one, but it's important. Uh, this is a skill matchup again, but my thief's already going there, so that's good. This lamp is not worth it, whoever's going there. So the, the warrior kites out. The worm dies, that's good. The warrior's not going to survive, is he? No, he didn't, good. Uh, I think we just won the game, pretty much. Let's hit the rev really fucking hard. Oh shit, wrong button. Ah, I'm used to... I knew I was fucking that up at the start. I knew that the slot I put J.I. on was going to be really important. Missed it again. Big CCs again. Oh, we shield pushed him back into the uh, meter. Did you guys see that shit? He uh, evades the first load with Bulls Rush. It's not a big deal anymore, though. Because we have lots of charges and lots of utility. He dodges the blinds. Full counter. <clears throat> I kind of don't want to overzerg this, and I kind of don't want to leave bodies in front of their respawn. So you see my entire team just chasing the warrior there. I'll do one more game on this. Maybe not all the right traits, but you think I have the right lines? So that's good to hear. If you guys don't know, Arkin in chat plays a lot of uh, Firebrand. He plays a very low vitality variant that runs, I think, max mantras, actually, don't he? Okay, so I'm now, I've been so preemptive, I'm like completely outnumbered, so I've got to be very careful. We stay in the, the field for a second, and then we choose to port out here so that they can't get to us. Ah, uh, they're still on me, just fucking hard on me. Here's the thing, you, you see the warrior? The warrior is still alive. The warrior ran from four of my allies, just my, four of my guys just chasing him in a big circle. I was the only one that stayed and thought, oh, they're going to respawn. So I, I, I ate the brunt. So we do die there. Uh, it's kind of lame. If the Rev had like used a bit more energy before I JI'd out, it could have been pretty good. Yeah, full mantra. I mean, look, the uh, Flame Rush mantra is actually very good. Especially on a build like this. Um, I don't know if I really believe in the quickness and uh, what's it called? Mantra, but hey. I feel a lot more control in this build. I feel like I can know a lot more of what's going on. So he uses my uh, focus uh, four to guarantee a proc of. So we made him in that, and he dies. Uh, to guarantee a proc of thingy. Yeah, I don't know. I think that. Um, I think maybe we drop. Maybe we run permeating wrath instead of indomitating courage. Maybe this is more fun. But again, we're not law master, so when you're not law master, you kind of screw permeating wrath a lot. Let's try the other line with a bit more burn pressure. I do like the idea of my symbols, though, actually being dangerous and covering the whole node, you know. I do like that. Which is why I kind of like this the bigger symbols trait. Let's have a look, though, instead at... Uh, is it Radiance Top? So Amplified Wrath is burning, does more damage, and the passive lasts longer. Or well, Zeal was Eternal Armory. We don't care about Eternal Armory. This one didn't have a burning one, did it? No, that's this is like the uh, medi line. So if we go the Amplified Wrath, it would be this setup, I think. How much Fury do we have on this build? Not much, right? So we could even go Inner Fire. But, I mean, right hand strength's amazing. Look at this fucking trait. Oh, it's only sword skills. But still, sword, sword skills are pretty good. I thought that was dropping the axe cooldowns as well, which would have been crazy. I mean, we are hardly ever critting. Let's try this. 
Let's try this up. I think our damage goes way up here, but we're, we're it's a lot more vulnerable. You find radiance to be useless for Condi? You, you don't think this is these two are strong? I think these two look really good. And look, we get extra crit chance here as well. Plus the frosty, I guess. We get the time refresh, which isn't that good in PvE, honestly. And the justice is blind isn't that important. So I do want to try one. Try purging flames. What? No, no, no. I'm not doing purging flames. That's like a noob skill. If you guys don't know, purging flames is just a skill that... It does, yeah, a bit of condi. And it looks like, oh my god, it does so loads of damage. But the thing is, um, it's just a ring effect. Okay? So this is the ultimate noob trap. So I'm going to teach you, who are recommending me in chat, why this is a noob trap. First of all, the passive isn't that good. I think it was, it was, um, it was buffed, this patch, to be fair. But I don't think it's good enough. So you read the, the damage. But in PvP, someone just weapon swaps and they cleanse or whatever. They just use some tiny tool and they get rid of it. Now, here's the thing. It's not constantly pulsing burn. It's not doing two burn, two burn, two burn. It's if they walk through the ring. So in PvP, they're just not going to walk through the ring. And that's it. There you go. Your entire skill is invalidated. So I, I don't believe in that skill. I really don't. Now, to be honest, if we think of the third utility slot as a... Um, as a Condi cleanse slot, then all of a sudden it's like, well, hold on, you know, contemplation, one big cleanse every 40 seconds, or or this, which is on a lower cooldown and sort of spaces the Condis out a bit more, plus all of the burn, burn synergy. I can kind of see what you're saying. I can kind of see. And for the fun of it, I will, just because it was just buffed. But the thing is, this is not a stun break. So now, like, what happens when we get stunned? JI is on a massive cooldown, guys. The, the double stun break kind of... I mean, we do have F3 stun break. No, we don't. If I'm, uh... Oh. Let's try this. Let's swap out of the Indomitable Courage stun break. Let's take Permeating Wrath instead. But with no Law Master... Oh. It's okay. We can try it out, though. We can try it out. See, what you guys have got to understand is without Law Master, when I'm in the tome, I don't have the passive either. So I can't trigger Permeating Wrath in the tome anymore. So you gotta like, but and you can't like drop it. Mind you, though, we went radiance now, so the re. Yeah, this is just weird, man. Stoic demeanor. It's very costly. It's very costly to even think about. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the idea arc in it though is we're playing new, new stuff, which is we're making. We're not trying to make good builds, really. We're, we're just trying to play with the new balance, find the best way to make the new balance work. So we're kind of locked into this for this stream. That's the whole point right now. So, yeah. That's uh, that's kind of the the dilemma. And that's what the builds these are for, to, to sort of show the dilemmas, why why a buff is insubstantive or whatever. Uh, but yeah, okay, so what setup have I got right now? We're just going like the big kind of gimmick. Unfortunately, I end up feeling that way with a lot of balance. So we got jumped by actually three separate players there. We got Spinal Shivered by one. We got Condi, uh, we were getting shot by the Deadeye and a Rev came on us. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the second we entered the pit, that happened. So this will be our last fire round one, and then we'll move on to the next class. It's just that lack of a stun break. Alright, here's what I'll do. We won't go permeating wrath. It's kind of only a uh, down state gimmick anyway. We'll go Indomitable Courage for a stun break, and then we will risk. I mean, the thing is, though, holding this for a stun break never feels that good. Because I like it. It's a tool, you know? It's a tool that you're probably using for other things. No, I'm, I'm staying like this, guys. Let's, let's just do that for funsies for now. You want to try Mesmer? Well, hold on. We're, I'll ask people what they want to see in a minute. So anyway, we got the smaller shit now, but we do a lot more Condi pressure. Like, we get a lot more value out of the uh, Sage stuff now. And the, the runes. We'll be critting a lot more regularly. We've got up to 30% higher chance to crit, just because we've got Fury now a bit more. I mean, there's a little bit, don't get me wrong on the sword, but look at how quickly this shit drops off. As soon as that symbol's not there, or we're not in the symbol, which is going to happen, we lose it. By the way, you can drop the glacial heart thing and keep the big symbols and the thing. But I'm going for like the stoic demeanor kind of... The idea is we, we, we hard CC someone and then it just spreads their bar with incapacitation. And the idea is these are all like cover condies, right? Well, no, not really. The burning is the condi we're trying to kill with, so... 
the buff doesn't really add another cover condi. If this, if instead of it being burning on stoic demeanor, they had put cripple. If cripple had been coming out on stoic demeanor, it actually would have been a, a, a bigger buff, I think. I think if it was slow and cripple at once, because the cripple could cover the, the burning. And also, you know, it's just even more incapacitation. And I don't think we have much cripple coming elsewhere. I mean, there's some on these bit on here, so I don't know, actually. Maybe even cripple wouldn't be good. But something like that, you know. Blind's an interesting thought. Uh, okay. I will, I'll blast. So they don't want a team fight. Interesting. Get dodge out of the rev. This poor Necro. He doesn't have walk or worm up. So, oh, he does have a, a worm up. Oh, he uh, he tried to double. Did you guys see? He fucking spectral warped and wormed. So look, we get our uh, tone back now, which is really nice. So there you go. I'll 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 one v one this and try and cap it. <clears throat> We gotta be quick though, because of the respawns. Uh, I need to not fuck that up. And I need to be quicker with my mantra. Dodge the full counter. That shield block he knew. We get free Aegis, which uh, allows us to face tank the arcing. Get some alacrity. I'm outnumbered. Where's my team? They're dying. What the fuck? You guys are dying? You have so many numbers. Who the fuck died? The engineer managed to die in like, a, what, a 4v2? Alright, well, I'm dead then. My team needed to be here as they all came in or as all the respawns come in. That's what I said. I said that we had to be quick, remember? Holy shit, man. Who's this one player that was Dark Prophecies? Who's that? It's a Rev. I wonder if it's a... He's on a... on Dragon. Maybe I'm misinterpreting what happened there. Maybe they had more numbers than I realised. I'm complaining about all the stuff that you do. What did I complain about? Uh, I'm going to get a quick bit of decap on this. And then make the necro shit itself. It's off the nav mesh, so... I'm not actually sure what will happen when... Um now you see this? He died to Pulmonori. We gotta help our friend. So we go F2. Fuck. Actually, the Rev kinda helped there. Give him a big cleanse. But he goes into Shroud the second I go into F2, which is like. Gets a good kill. That's a core Necro build. He got feared. This guy's running the Torment on Fear trait. It's a bad trait. <clears throat> Very bad. Uh, so I do want to fight. We already have numbers there though, and we're losing 1v1s at close And this body might bandage which it is look at this. This is a very new player. This necro is a very very new player On a horrendous trait and uh, trying to bandage right there. And also we have the respawn so He's unblockable after he ports in So it's kind of like Wait for his staff three then trigger it Get another mantra again. I'm too late. We get the immobile on that one weakness. I shouldn't have weapon swapped there Focus four. It's just bad because my guys are dying. Interrupt the unrelenting with a, with a two. Blinds. We have to dodge. In case the unrelenting assault landed there, we had to dodge. We can uh, shield five him through the wall. He didn't come in. I saved the stun break. It's not necessary right now. I wish I had my mantra right now. We're actually fucking 3v1. Never mind. <clears throat> there was a player here. It's okay, because we won the other side. Against two revs, that's pretty fucking hard, to be honest. Uh, yeah, if I hadn't spent all the mantra before, and then he just sort of rolled out and cleansed it all. I kind of want more just broad condi duration. I, I, I kind of think that um, Grand Thrones are stupid. I kind of think that it, I want everything to linger a bit more, so maybe take a different rune set. Is it just me, or does the balance team seem on the ball last year? No, it's not just him. The balance team is doing well. There's kind of a lot of uh, sort of uh, very uh, out of touch, shallow thinking, um, 
selfishly minded people who don't actually understand the balance at all or don't think about the broader game. And it's the easiest team to shit on in the game, but actually I think balance has improved since POF came out. I think you're a lunatic if you think any other way, actually. What the fuck happened to Axe 2 there? So I think this guy knows he can't win this. So he goes for the stomp instead. I don't think I can save you, Vic. I'm really sorry. Just want that four up first. He does a big transferal, but we just keep pressuring anyway because we want Condi to land him. Yeah, so I think I can just full cap this. I don't think he can do it. If he gets a plus, he can. And I just had an ally die, so, you know, maybe. Big taunt. Get Mantra out. Wait for the star five, three. Oh, I was waiting for his next dodge and then I was going to do it. We got two taunts out of that time there. Big interrupt. It mope him there. He escapes with... Uh... Oh, actually, I didn't immobe him at all. My mantra recharge right as I procced it. So we didn't get it. We wait for his heal here. Bomb in with this. We just kill him. He was playing very passive. Not not good red play really there. I don't know. I think our pressure is very low actually. I think our pressure could be higher. Maybe I'll go Balthazar runes or something. Who's this? This rev was yeah. Look at look at this. He's got all these facets and stuff up. I'm not sure what's going on there. Sorry if you guys can hear Skype. I'm turning it off. That's my Skype, not yours. This is a fucking close game. Uh, he's out of range of X3, so I can't really. We could maybe. Let's see if the precast works. Now, see bigger symbol. We would have landed on them there. Interrupts. Oh, he's kiting. I like it. I don't think it matters. I think I can still fucking fill him off anyway. Oh, maybe not. That skill has a weird animation. Holy shit. All right, let him do that. That's fine. Good on him. I'll go back uh, and anticipate anyone coming in. Uh, we got a kill on a Scourge, so we should be all right versus a Scourge. Here he is. He's already Spectral Walked as well, which is very good. Kind of don't want to jump on him until later. Get the Worm first, especially since he just cast it. Can't do much. I want to pull him down. I guess I uh, have to do that. So contemplation for purity is big there, but I've already cast it. Axe five him off. Three through the wall. Resist. He's a uh, ghastly breach, so I have to go into F two for a second. He's dead to the burns. He didn't even get on the node, which is very good. We can full bleed that. <clears throat> Uh, this is not looking good everywhere else in the game, though. I'll try, uh... This guy bandaged before, so we have to be very careful about that in fact. I don't have J.I. I could sort two up. There's no respawns available. Sorry, Kato. If I'd been a little bit more decisive there. Oh, this is going to be really good. Res him. Res him, you fucker. I didn't realize I didn't have my hillman trap. That's like fucking cute. No, oh, come on, man. Oh, that's my bad. I needed to put my hillman trap. He might be in range. He's not. Oh, shit. I could have 2v1 them there. But I didn't have the fucking heal up. Just mantra things. This is the thing. you got to play like a lot of fire. Oh, well, I've got to play a lot of firebrand to get into the habit of actually checking if the mantra is there. There's absolutely no reason I should have lost that. If it was already there, I wouldn't have had to have spent all that time. Could have got the weakness and the blinds and stuff going again. But no. How's the Guardian Sword work now? It's the same. It got a PvE buff, this balance, but as far as PvP is concerned, there was no change. Fucking stupid. Someone would have been watching that as well and thinking, oh, I'll get the mantra. I should probably team fight. Oh, he's a renegade. He's doing well on renegade. Me dying there was really bad, by the way, because we don't have a, a firm grip on the game. He sees. I don't want to press it. Another one. Another one. Another one. I don't think it really matters though. We're not really hitting them as the, as we do it. I don't know. There's something janky about my trait setup this time. 
Give him hold the line. Let's not put the bubble up. That was kind of nice because we pushed him away and we healed our friend a little bit, but not much. I don't have the most important mantra up now. I'm going to recast it. We're not getting any momentum. Our guy died in a 1v1 on fire as well. How the fuck was that an evade? How the fuck did you die? He was chasing, wasn't he? Okay, if he doesn't die now, it's really bad. I'm not sure if I can get the res. Good try. This is the moment. He gets the booby trap. That's good. Nah, we've been plus. I don't get it. Uh, we don't have any damage. We should... I, 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 I've I, played variants of this build that have way more pressure than this. We should have, like, killed. Right? But we just haven't. I stay off the nav mesh because he, he's in Shiro. He's probably in Shiro too. Yeah, they're both just looking. A little vultures. We'll get this recharged. My ally's there, so let's push in. Start cleaving over the body. Uh, the rampage is bad. And again, I don't have my heal up. Fuck. We get a kill. Come on, come in. Come in, I fucking dare you. Come into this fucking field. Axe three. He's Shiro ports. He's got no energy, so we can push. Get him off again. Remove him. We need that Axe 2 to be back. Come on. Good interrupt. That might have been the heal. Did he glint swap? He did. I think we I think we interrupt his heal. But he's going to get back in a second. Watch this. No, he goes back to Shiro. Everyone's dying. At least get the node for a second. I don't have the cap, so... I can't JI out either. Fuck, I'm dead. Yeah, I, I needed a target to JI out to. This guy had moved so far that I couldn't see him anymore. That was my idea. I was going to do that. Yeah, we, we lose. This is a long game. Why is this game so long? What the fuck? No kills have come in either, really. Oh, a couple have now. I'm six and four. Yeah, exactly. No, I agree. I agree. Stoic demeanor. It's just not there. It's not there. But there you have it. That's the idea of the build zoo. He's, uh, he got a good shield for there. I can probably come up on this. Go for glory here. Uh, we're in a ghastly breach. We've got to put out. Resist. A good two up. I still want the, uh, the rev. Heal this guy when he leaves shrouds. Come on. He's Mage Bane. I ate his arcing. It's over. The game's over. We've lost. It's two minutes till uh, timer now. And unless my team starts playing really well, we're not going to get it, I don't think. JI's good. Yeah, JI's good on uh, not just Forest, but on Legacy as well. On Legacy, you can teleport to gates. So you can disengage with that. It's pretty nice. This man just going. Uh, I wanted both symbols. I will get them both. I don't have JI. I can five my friends. Uh, one thing I'm not doing well, by the way, is the five. I am consistently forgetting the five. So finally we start getting kills, but it's cost us everything. If this is blood, we have to be really careful. It's not blood. I think we already knew it was a rubbish build anyway. His port fucked up. That means we get the kill. Wait for his next animation, then trigger that. And this, this. I mean, it's a very... I like the build. I do like the build. It's just that we need to configure it a little bit so that there's pressure on it as well. It feels a bit slow. No, 
Nah, man. Torch for Torch is too aggressive. You need quality of life. You need like substance and stuff, right? This is substance. Both of these are substance. I could, if I had enough time, I could one v one this guy. We have to uh, stab up as well. Let's just bomb him as much as we can. I don't have shield up, so I can't um, knock it, knock the guy off or whatever. All right, well there you go. We did get top damage there, but a pretty ugly game overall. Very slow, very stalling game. Okay, so uh, next class, guys. What do you want to see? The next one from the build zoo. We have Mesmer available. We have Necromancer available. We have um, Ranger available. Th those are the three that we've got. What do you guys want to see? Necro, Necro, Necro. Okay, that seems pretty substantive. So we did already see some Necro um, on a previous stream I did. Right when the patch came out, I played one. And you guys could all run this build again if you like. We did a thing where everyone was running this. So basically the idea is I want to try two different setups. One of them is a Death Nova setup. And the other one of them is uh, is just kind of like a tanky kind of thing, I guess. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But so basically I'm going to play a Death... Uh, we already showed Death Reaper. You guys can character swap if you like. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to clean the pie out. So by the way, I'm going to give it an Aureen code. Um... All right, let me do it this way. Oh, how do I do this? All right. Not this game, but the one after is going to be the Aureen code, okay? So whoever is in my party, not this game, but the game after will get the Aureen code, all right? Well, we'll, we'll be in for the Aureen code. So you guys can join on me now. And play this Necro game. But it's the one after that will definitely be the Aurene code. So get logged in. Get ready for the one after. If you want to play this one though. Join on me now. So uh, what we could do is we could try going the rise kind of you know minion spam for. So the idea is Death Nova got buffed. In that it now reads the Necromancer's stats. So instead of Thief Rune which we were looking at before. Let's instead go Scholar. And just try to do as much damage as possible. So they now, now this will read our ferocity, our precision, our our everything. Okay. So we'll try that. And what, the idea is we want the minions to explode and do damage. So this is like a mass swarm minion build. But also with whatever quality of life we can get out of it. I did want to check very briefly soul reaping. Let's uh, log in and see if soul reaping had anything to buff the death nova. So, this is increased ferocity while in Shroud, which means that Death Novas while we're in Shroud would crit harder. You could do Death Perception. But overall, I still think Blood is way better because of the two Life Siphon mechanics interacting with um, with your minions. So, and I'm going to stay on Un Unholy Martyr. And I'm going to stay on uh, Quickening Thirst so I can move around the map without having to go Lynx Runes or Adventure or something like that. So, why Lich, not Golem? Because Lich is better for minions, alright? Lich has Summon Madness, which creates six minions... Uh, not six minions. Five minions? How many? It creates uh, several minions. One, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, it is six minions. And they explode when they die, which has its own damage, and they also trigger Death Nova. So, the idea is Lich is, Lich is a more fun Death Nova interaction. Yeah, Blood is definitely better. The point is, like... Better or playing into the gimmick? Which one do you want to pick? That's the point. Did I like your core necro? I don't think I saw it, Shadow. Did I see it? Anyway, we'll try a core version as well. So anyway, this is like... Uh, we've got a stun break. We've got max minions possible through rise plus the double minions. We have the heal minion, which, you know, is toughness for us now because of Death's Carapace. And then Lich Form for the, the big explosions. That That's the idea here. And, uh, yeah, we, we did uh, a couple of games on this the other day where everyone played it all at once. And it was kind of funny. Summer Madness is eight minions. There you go. That's kind of crazy. Now, what other swaps we could do? We could get rid of the Death's Carapace from minion passives. But that makes them all squishier. Poison damage is increased. I kind of do want to put Blood as power on it somehow, but it's just, it doesn't work with the idea. There's too many things you need as a Necro. Necro needs 
some kind of like heavy might gen option. Like for their minions. Like if some of the scourge stuff instead was like apply more might when it hits a minion or something like that. So that I don't have to blood his power. If you have to blood his power your minions. I know there's like the Guild Wars 1 fantasy going on there. But it kind of just ruins it in some ways. Get rid of the Reaper for spite. Well Reaper we lose rise. Which means way less death novas. If we get rid of it. And obviously Spiteful Spirit's OP. Obviously all of these are really good. But I'm not seeing the synergy. Also, um, the Reaper Shroud is very, very, very strong. Also, we get extra ferocity from this as well while in Shroud. So Death Nova's while we're in this is even stronger. They don't get modifiers. So I'm going to take a crit chance. And then we're going to drop the cooldown of the shout as well, probably still. Just for the gimmick. The poison trait feels uh, like a miss out of him. So the poison trait is uh, putrid defense. Poison damage is increased and applying poison grants carapace. Well, there is an idea of you could go um, curses on the last line and play this as a condi play style. And instead of taking tankier minions, you could take extra poison damage. And the death novas do poison as well. So, you know, they are a thing. It does feel like a weird setup, though, for sure. So we got a summon madness going. That guy's in a reflect damage reflect stance. So if they die while I'm in Lich, Lich doesn't actually bunch my, bump my attributes anymore, right? You, you don't get that old combo. So drop the 5 on the Lich right before we leave the form. Let's get the big rise. I'm running focus here, by the way. So we, we, can, we can be on Kato again. <laughs> hey WP, I'm just wondering, when will you release the Necro PvE build? That's going to be last. That's the last build I'm going to show you. Well, Necro doesn't apply too many stacks. That's true. Well, the, the, this specific minion Death Nova thing does actually do loads of stacks of poison. You can get up to 25 or more stacks of poison if, like, the gimmick lands. But I get what you mean, like, realistically. And as far as the actual flow of normal gameplay and the proper class is built, you don't... Yeah, it's true. You don't get that much. I think the devs look at stuff like uh, Corrosive Poison Field with a bit more um, emphasis than they should. It's funny because you think... Th I would expect there to be a lot of poison on this class, honestly. Like, it's a Condi class, obviously. Like, it's the ultimate Condi manipulator, blah, 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 blah. But just thematically, color-wise, all that kind of stuff, I think that poison fits, you know. Yeah, I like this build flavor-wise as well. I just wish it was a little bit more potent. But it is good, uh, and we will hopefully see. What I want to see is Death Nova scoring a kill. I want to see this trait icon scoring a kill. Or actually, I think when it happens, it has the old like Roman numerals icon. If you guys remember from years back when all the traits were Roman numerals. I think that's what pops up. When you actually score a kill with Death Nova, it's that that, that arrives. And I do still believe in a fight. That, that uh, Grave Dig was so good. You guys see that shit? I do still believe that there's a Firebrand build that is kind of fun with this. I just think, look, Death should have, like, one Grandmaster should be, your minions have super speed. The other Grandmaster should be, your minions have quickness. You should, like, choose between move speed or attack speed on them. And they'd be so much better, especially with, like, super speed. That would be such a good choice for them. Because so much, like, value you could get out of minions, you don't. Because minions are too slow. So we have an enemy reaper, which is a great target. We can corrupt those uh, that prop that he's already given himself. Uh, Rise is very big there. We can just cleave here. Just cleave as much as possible. And we're going to lich a new summon madness. Gonna fear that. Keep the autos going. Don't stop to life siphon yet. Okay, we can life siphon his lich. Okay, he died. Okay, this is a really good Reaper Shroud. Fuck, we don't have the cooldown back. Fuck, and I didn't dodge the fear. Is he getting Mercy? No, he's not. 
Okay, we, we're going to bail out now because we got a lot of pressure on us. I'm going to rip those boons. Waste his scepter too. Get life force from the four. Get minions out of the uh, clones. Big great... Uh, three, we want as much. If I can get this heal up, I can't. I can't get the heal. I'm outnumbered massively. Where's my team? Is everyone just dying? We get the fear. No minions left alive though, I think. They're all just standing around over there. The well might get him. Never mind. This guy's low. Okay, I died finally. Did I say blight is boob? I didn't say No, someone typed that, I guess. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Summon some shit. This is a bit desperate of me, by the way. We're axe towing that so that it doesn't explode on our face. Okay. We're cleaving this guy down. I can't sit in these anymore. I'm just going to die. Can't res him. Ah, I fucked up the kite. He obstructs me. It's good. I gotta regroup with my friends and hope they can do something. Just being a necro running around on my own all the time. Pull him over. He died, so he didn't actually move. We have to res. Ah, what the fuck? My guy triggered a stomp, I don't know why. I guess I just pressed the button too early. I can get a lot. As these things trail in, we can uh, rise out of them there. Axe 3 will cleave a lot of them as well, which is very good. Oh, we have to worm out now. Mesmer's almost dead to the minions. Uh, the Reaper's here. Oh, I do have an ally, and I got a stealth build out. Uh, I got revealed, though. Is he running support, NG? He might be. we got to get our uh, tethers up to resustain health. got to go into Shroud now. Come on. S someone focus him. Five over the ledge. He dodged it. Mesmer's still on me. The heal up. We worm on the ledge. Four up. Get on this target because my allies aren't helping me. I die anyway. Fear this. He'll probably dodge in the middle of it didn't. Oh, here we go. The big death novas. Come on. Cleave, cleave, cleave. Good. We have a reaper cleaving. We got this. We got this. We got this. Gone. Perfect. Now hit this mesmer that's just been... For fuck's sake. Now I've got a thief on me. Where's the scrapper? Do something. Where's your function gyro? Why haven't I seen any function gyros? Go, 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 go. Does he have one on me now? Maybe. Okay, good. We can save his life now with a rally. He's got Reflex up. He might die anyway. Mind you, he got uh, our Thief helped out there. We're going to go to mid now. Got to get my uh, heal back up. Necro's at the best target. Look at this awful position from this Necro. I'm getting in a bit to get the big rise. Now we cleave. I mean, he has fire round support. He dodges out. I've got a ranger point blank shotting me. I've got a thief jumping on me. I evaded still. I've got a necro, a mesmer on me with chaos storm. They don't do the kite properly. He falls. He can't infinite horizon me here, which is very good as well. The firebrand is supporting him. I put him in. I can kill him from up here if I'm good. Got him. What killed him there? was Axe 3 bouncing like Edge of Extinction through his clones. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was some Guild Wars 1 shit right there. That was so good. We bait him down. I wish I had Spectral Walk. Good, I got pills. Thank you, team. Thank you, Kai. Uh, he has no stab, so the dunk gets him. We have an enemy thief on us. Uh, I shouldn't have wormed there. Oh, we rally. 
Where's my worm gone? Why didn't my worm move me? We have to hide in this for a second. Shit, what the fuck? Why did I skip downstate? I skipped my downstate. I didn't have that height. You, you, you don't death penalty in PvP. Do you? Oh, I was illusion of life. Fuck, I'm a noob. I didn't even realize. Oh, I thought I'd rallied. I thought they'd got a kill. That's my bad. So I, I fucked up. I needed to go defensive. It was illusion of life. What a fucking noob. I can't believe I didn't notice that. That's really stupid. Yeah, yeah, well done. We're there already. I'm outnumbered again. I'm just being pew pew pewed by all these players. Uh, why did I lich? It's okay, you can't open do that, I guess. <clears throat> that was the worst lich you've ever seen. It's a big rise right there. Nightfall. Why don't I have the fall? What the fuck? Ah, oh, I hate without soul reaping. It's so slow. Thief's on me. I just double dodged. I should die now, to be honest. Missed the pads. Didn't get into shrouds. They all I res. That's me playing bad there. Honestly. I might be able to bandage though. The uh, Mirage is trying to get me, but he he's not got anything to go up. I can escape around here, probably. Uh, that's probably a function gyro, so I can probably come in and do this. Am I in a ghastly breach that I just can't see? Res it with me. All right, it's everything to play for now. Uh, I hit the wrong button there. Keep the blinds going. This is actually really good if we win this fight. That is really, really, really good. We got his renewed focus. Please hit this before it just fucking face rolls in. Actually, this is probably the better target. I'm playing bad by uh, swapping the ping constantly. He's got no renewed focus, and once that time's done, it's done. Why did Axe 2 cancel cast? I was facing when I triggered it. Okay, we cleave over this. Before it uh, pet reses. Five will kill him. Missed it. Okay, good. Spinal Shivers, we can bleed that as well. Spinal Shivers would have been there uh, if we didn't get the Axe 2. Okay, so the Thief. Reclaim our minions. It just took a bit too long, though. I can't be the one that pushes far. Kato should probably do that if he's Mirage. We've got a lot of catching up to do. That's the thing. I haven't been to the handball once all game. Our scrapper's on his own over here instead of at the teamfight. I guess I'll rise there. Uh, this could be a mercy, so we have to be very careful. Do I get right summon madness? I do. We're in shroud with summon madness, so if there's a death nova kill, it's coming here. I'm dead again. Where's my team? Why am I alone? Illusion of life. I don't think I get out though. I might be able to. Now, we won't get a counter rally, but I can worm out right as the duration ends, which is here, and then hide down here. And then hopefully there is or something. I don't think there will. I think we lose. I can bandage. I just, I feel like we've got no damage at all. I'll be, I'm very curious to see what my four, almost 500,000 damage is compared to the rest of the team. Very curious. Get the ranger here. There's an infinite horizon. We might get a really big rally off of this. Neither of them rallied. Alright, I need to debunk them now. He's immune. Get that kill. 
kill. I've got to go to far. And they need to get... They need to decap point C. Three minutes left. It is winnable. We win this 1v1 unassisted. And we don't die to the respawn, which is already there. And one of them needs to do something at point C. We need to climb up instantly because we're 2v1. He dagger storms. Okay, someone equalizes with me. Pull out. What the fuck? There's a fucking reaper here as well. And the thief is still on me. And this guy's ignoring it all. And this guy's not coming over. Come on, let's go! Fucking thief just following me. Oh, that's not a projectile anymore, so it actually lands. That's nice. I can't do anything. <clears throat> oh no, I'm not sure about that one. Because I'm now a huge risk, I'm a huge liability. Hide in shroud until it's done. Uh, look, if you illusion of life, you should stay with the target to res it, okay? But this is just... Alright, well, we lose. Okay, my damage was proportional to 32%. And we don't have a support. Unless maybe that scrapper was sort of support. Well, anyway, there you go. Okay, so that's Necro. Let's move on. Um, what do we have next? There is... Mesmer or Ranger? Which one do you guys want to see? Mesmer or Ranger? The first one to get three votes from three separate people wins. Okay, so go. Ranger or Mesmer? Mesmer, me okay, Mesmer just won. Just about. Okay, so we go Mesmer. Um... So, Mesmer has uh, basically two kind of things going on. One is Chrono. Let's get the Q. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, and I did say, all right, the Aureen Code is the next party. Okay, so here's the situation. Here's the situation. I want you guys all to spam your invites, okay? I'm going to click leave party in a second, and then I want you all to spam your invites, and the first five that I click, when I click that tick, you're in it, and then you're going to be in for the five the five chance, okay? So, when I hit leave, that's going to be it. So, in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I'm well aware of this stream delay. Okay, so this guy gets in. Next. This guy gets in, this guy gets in, this guy get, gets in. Okay, so one of you five is going to get it, all right, on the next the next one. Uh, if you've just sent this invite, by the way, and you don't play the game, you do have to play it. You have, do have to be in the party. So there you go. Congratulations to you five. Right, now, as to Mez, so let's queue in. Okay, someone here is on NA and has just joined. So that person is going to have to leave because we can't queue with you. So whatever dimwit just came from NA, you have to, you ha you ha you have to leave. This is an EU setup. We did an, uh, an NA or in code the other day. Okay, so next. It was two of you. <laughs> One more. Whoever's next, you get in. There you go. All right. Now I've been removed, auto removed. Not sure why. Let's try again. <clears throat> and now it's crashed because I accepted two invites at once. Let's try again. Alright, there you go. These five. Can we queue with these five? We can. Alright, there you go. Congratulations to this five. Sorry to everyone else who got chipped out. If you're mad, ask ArenaNet about their party system. Okay, so what we could do is... Um, Chaotic interruption. When you interrupt a foe, recharge one of your equipped weapon skills at random. So it's weapon skills. It won't hit on things that aren't recharging. So it will never hit on the skill one. So you've got one in four chance to get a skill that you care about. 
We're giving up stab and we're giving up vigor up time. Basically is, is what this actually means. A lot of the other stuff we'll have anyway through other sources. So we could just run it on a standard setup and see how we feel. So here I'm on Wanderer's Adventure. This is a very aggressive version of a Condi Mirage. So we could just try it with Wanderer's. Uh, the uh, pistol's going to proc it for us. The Chaos Storm now guaranteed dazes on open. Why does it say stun? What? Oh, no, no, no. That was Magic Bullet. I was reading the Magic Bullet text thinking it was applying to Chaos Storm. So it was like, the first hit, they are stunned and then they are dazed and then i was like what the fuck is that no so chaos storm it's uh a daze on cast so if you get that on five things you get five interrupts then chaos storm could come back again really quickly i guess how have i been been a shit day for you my i've really hardly even started my day to be honest uh you guys can play any kind of build you like by the way any kind of build i don't really mind um so, yeah, we, we have a mechanism to proc CI on this set, and we have a mechanism to proc CI on this set. We could do kind of uh, a, a sword ambush idea, but that's just terrible. It's it's They'll get cleaved out. They won't do that well. You could play a power variant. Do you guys want to see a power variant instead of, like, a Condi variant? Let's try a power variant. Let's do, Let's do the sword thing. Okay, so the idea of this build will be we move fast. We can now proc it on the autos, on the five, on this five. And then do I give... Do, uh, we're going to run blink. Do I want the Daze Mancher? I don't know about Daze Mancher. But we're going to play this super aggressive, right? So we're going to go a Marauder Amulet. We're going to go uh, Infiltration. We're going to run Decoy, probably. So we get Vigor out of whenever we stealth here. You could go Torch, obviously, instead of the pistol. And Torch does have a CC, but it might not be as fun. Kind of thing. The thing is, though... Hold on. Let's, let's go another tack. Let's go a Phantasm spam build. Let's try and do both. So the other thing is the top line in Chrono has changed now. So here I actually No 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 this 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 will work. Uh no no let's swap. Sorry, I'm gonna kick us out of the matchmaker just for one second, cause I already have a cheesy Mesmer build set up. Where is it? I like never play. This guy here. So let's let's try a phantasm spam build. So this is gonna be a lot like that PvE build I showed off, but the idea is it's just absolutely filled the screen with phantasms. Um and we'll do it on the Chrono, but the thing is, the, the concept doesn't work, right? Because if you take Chrono Phantasma, you can't go Alacrity when you inflict slow, and then the new delayed reactions thing is kind of irrelevant. Also, then where, where do we get Chaos from for the, uh, the interrupts? Never mind, they're, they're two different concepts. Let, let's, let's, let's not try and pair it all together. Let's just do uh, the one at a time. Let's do a Mirage with all the interrupts, and then we'll do a Chrono. Well, the, the Chrono with the Alacrity is just not going to be fun. It's just not going to be good. It's not any different, because you can't... Alright, we, we'll just do this. We'll probably show the one concept, I think. Let's queue it. Okay, uh, so we're going to go Infinite Horizon. We're going to go Desert Distortion, so that we uh, we can ambush out of a Distortion. And then uh, we will go uh, Renewing Oasis. Up here we'll go... We could go Fences Finesse now. Fuck it, let's do Fences Finesse. Stay with the Duelist to hit the cooldowns. So basically, if we interrupt with this set, okay, which is, you know, the uh, the, 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 the Sword Ambushes are going to be causing interrupts, and so uh, so is the, the Magic Bullet. It, we, we reduce our pistol cooldowns when they interrupt. But also... We do it even further because of chaotic interruption. So we might just be able to spam these out. That's kind of the idea. That's that's the concept. We'll go with False Oasis. We'll go with Jaunt. Probably I care about Jaunt. Now, do we want the double stealth? Probably not. And then we could run a Daze Mancher if you guys really want to see. We could try the Daze Mancher. And we could try to be intelligent about it. 
it's kind of a part of the synergy, so fuck it. Uh, now, anyway, for here... Oh, but then Deceptive Evasion... I kind of want Domination for Power Block. If we're doing this, we should really run Power Block. I don't like running Day's Mansion without Power Block. Let's see, if I go Domination, do we have any other, like, interrupt mechanics that arrive? We could get turn a daze into a stun, but that's not actually adding a stun. And Power Block, we do damage, length of the thing. Power Block's just so good. Uh, use the RNG to roll who wins the shirt. Whichever skill gets the free recharge could correspond to a party member. Oh, yeah, because there's four players and four things. That's kind of funny. We could do that. Yeah, let's do that. That's a great idea. Let's do that. I don't know. Maybe I want to stay dueling. This is a weird build. This is not a very good build. Oh, I really want power block. Do we go core? If we go core and we pick up the power block idea, then we don't get the ambushes anymore. But maybe that's okay. Oh, we don't get to move around very fast anymore because we don't get to move. Uh, we don't get the um, the mirage thrust. But you could run like a core idea. But then you're just going to die because you can't move around anymore. I'm not sure. We'll try it this way, I guess. We'll try it this way. Because this is like the idea, alright? The idea is to spam out like the rubs. And we do it, like I say, on a power setup. I do think Infiltrate is probably still okay. Um, but we do want to change the sigils here. So let's go with... Um, if we were boots, we'd go like, Oh, let's do the uninterrupt ones. Let's steal some boons. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take energy so that we can ambush very regularly. And I'm going to take... Um, <laughs> Energy cleansing again, really? I, I am, because we're very low on Condi Clear. Like, extremely low. Like, ludicrously low. So, let's do that. We pretty much get weapon swaps and jaunts. The rest of it, we have to just be careful. Legacy is a very good map. We want open fields. So, I'm going to go this. Can't you make a Phantasm spam build with CI? Yes, we could do that. We could try that. We'll try that on Chrono. But we're not going to be able to get the Alacrity Phantasm spam idea. Because the, the, other, the other new balance is... Um, uh, there's like three concepts. You could do something like this. There's loads of concepts. You could augment the meta thing, but I, I don't really... I don't think that's going to be very entertaining. Or you could, yeah, you could do uh, some chrono stuff. Uh, so yeah, we'll play the game. And the way this is going to work, guys, is once the game is over, we will pick which one of you gets the shirt. So get ready for it. Such a small amount of vigor from each shatter. Someone in chat saying Chrono isn't meant for Condi. I don't know who they're talking to or about. But um, uh, Chrono's F2 is kind of insane, to be honest. Someone had a reasonably convincing uh, Condi build uh, on the original build, Z. When they updated the shatters in the first place. Ugh, no power block. It's okay. Alright, let's see what this uh, this guy is like. He just used uh, Hide in Shadows. That Blurred Frenzy hit him, by the way, because we got eight fucking stacks. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what we got. We want to get the four out quicker as well. Theoretically. This could be really weird. This could be really... I think this is a bad build, but this could be really fun. It depends. It depends on a lot of shit, to be honest. I feel like Chaos Storm is a much better me mechanic to get. Because it's like 1,200, no animation or wait time for things to get in and land. It's just... Interrupt. 
So we can interrupt there because he was barraging. And he still has no stab. If he keeps using things, we can do again. Obstructed. What's going on on the fucking node? There's a thief behind us. I tried to mantra his steel there, which was not good. Oh shit, yeah, we get the uh, the hill, the hill uh, one. That's pretty good. We gotta cleave this with everyone. I'm being pistol, pistol, pew pewed by a fucking thief. Uh, we can five him out of that if we want to. It's a very new thief. What happened to my blood frenzy? Uh, okay, I go help our warrior now, I guess. Miss. Shouldn't have done that yet. Okay. So he stun breaks. Alright, that's not good enough, really. See, we could, in theory, if he does stuff in downstate, we can spam interrupt with the clone ambushes in downstate and get our shit back. Or you used to be able to. I think if he autos, he has to be autoing in downstate, and that guy wasn't autoing. So that was a big waste of time, obviously. I kind of want Mass Invis instead of Jaunt. I'm oh, so slow. Should be on Link's runes or something. Wait for an animation. We knock him out with a five. Has he got stabbed? No. Why no interrupt? I don't know. We need to pull out. It's big damage on us. We, get, uh, we actually can't combat break because I have one Vuln on me. That one Vuln means a lot. So can we just interrupt? I've not got any interrupts for a while now. There was one. What did that recharge though? Fucking quadra kill for our uh, team there. We're getting debunked here. This is not. This is unfortunate because this game is way too easy. The people we picked up, hungry for that Orin code, are playing very well. It's not really me doing much. Uh, obviously, we wait. I kind of don't want to wait totally blatantly out in the open. But look at these guys. Like, that's a Reef Drake. PP guy. He's a minion monster using, like, the shade and stuff. I obstructed some of the pew pew hits. Look at the Necro. Necro, first one down. What a fucking brave man. Again, Shadow Refuge. I really want to get him out of it. Did. We got him. This is just a farm, really. Interrupt. Okay, we got one there. So, Pistol 5 is down to what exactly there? We got another one. Pistol 5's back. Magic Bullet is back. That was pretty fucking quick. Oh, come on. The Abstracts. This is bullshit. Let me see my synergy. This guy's fucking pet really. We dodged the uh, Mirror Blade. It still spawned a thing. I didn't know that that happened. I didn't know that if you dodge a mirror blade, it still spawns. That's fucking broken. This is where I want my mantra up, by the way. If we had our mantra up, that would have been very, very, very useful. I gotta leave. No, 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 why the two? Oh, that wasn't what I was trying to Is this him? Dude, you got nothing. I hit his heel. Wow, I can't believe he chased me there. I thought that was a clone. I thought that had to be a clone. Playing this very uh, kind of slow and steady and sort of uh, fucking spammy. Keep draining both of my magic charges as well. Being a bit spammy with it. Um. Well, I mean, there you go. The Orin Code team have thwarted their opponents. We got top healing. Do you know what that means in the context of that game? That means we face tanked the most damage. It doesn't actually mean we did anything. Oh, so there you go. All right, so the Orin Code. Here's how this is going to work, guys. I'm going to drain all of my weapon cooldowns, okay, so that they're all on recharge. 
then I'm going to... How do I proc an interrupt easy, though? They're all going to come off cooldown too quick. I'm not going to do it that way. Let's roll a random number generator, okay? So, Urine the Crow's Eye is one. Corvenai Vayaya is two. Anjoys is three. And Akana is four, all right? Now, I'm going to go to randomnumbergenerator.com. I don't know if it is .com. I uh, know Google just does it. The minimum is one. The maximum is four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to roll. Ready, guys? Three, two, one, roll. The number was four. So, Akana got it. Congratulations to Akana. Well done to you. Now, I need to mail you. Here's what I want you to do, Akana. Send, uh, no, I'll mail you now. I'll do it now. I'm going to do it right now. Studio modes. Uh, let's go to my finishes, I guess. PvP appropriate. Okay, so just give me one second, guys, as I browse to my mail and give them the code. And then we'll uh, check out Ranger. You guys can't actually see my finishes. Is it bugged? What does it say? Is this just loading? Okay. Second batch of Aurene codes. That means after this, I only have one more to give to the community. Okay, so congratulations to Akana. You've got your code. Okay, now let's go back in game and let's uh let's hit up uh, do you guys want to see phantasm spam let's try phantasm spam using ci so we'll try that combo what i'll probably do, do is i'll drop the inspiration idea with mental defense i mean the weird thing is that inspiration has a the, the the mental defense is a cc so it would it would there's like a synergy there but i'm gonna drop it and i'm gonna run um uh Chaos instead. We're going to pick up Chaotic Interruption. We're going to queue in as well. Nice and quick. And then what we'll do is we will run uh, Staff. Well, this is good because we get double Warlocks on Staff and we get CCs on Staff. And then we're going to take the Lesser Chaos Storm as well, which is more CCs, more options for Chaotic Interruption. They should really swap that. It should be Descent into Madness... Chaotic dampening and chaotic interruption on the top. That's probably the way they should have done it. Anyway, so we'll go that way. And then... Um, and then... Uh, what else are we going to do? Now, for Chrono, disabling a foe slows them. Now, time catches up is pretty good, right? Because it means that your shit runs in quicker. And there's another trait as well on illusions, which is like everything has quickness. And that's pretty good as well. The thing is, you kind of don't... The quickness thing... Well, a big part of this build is you're just trying to spam the screen up with maximum phantasms. Okay, we are not queuing in. Okay, so if you guys want to play with me, and you weren't just here for the Aurene code, uh, join my party. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Join my party, and then I'm going to queue in. Because a couple of people are just sitting there doing nothing, and they're not accepting their queue pop. So we're now wasting time on the stream if they keep doing that. So rejoin my party, and we'll go. Uh, so yeah, what I'm actually going to do is, uh, oh, we could go quickness on interrupt if we're aiming for like, nah, I don't really care about that that much. I'd rather just rip, actually no, let's do it. The boon rip isn't that good. There you go. So that's next one. One more, one more person and then we'll uh, rejoin. So yeah, this is new, the new delayed reactions and then slow as well and our illusions do more damage as well if they're slowed so that will work so that's all pretty good so yeah the idea here is um if you guys have never seen this build it's very funny it's a gimmick as as so often but you can open all of this in mass and as well by the way but basically you do your warlock you do this you do this you should cheese a weapon swap out earlier than that and you just have like an army of shit that just like and, and they can't even see you by the way at the start of this army of shit and you just spam your shatters as they come up. And you just uh, cheese kills out on people that like don't know what the fuck is going on. And try not to WS and D too much. Because then it's harder to see you. And don't have like a birthday booster on or something like that. But yeah, the more we shatter from the more clones we get, the more alacrity we have. Which means that the, the cooldowns keep coming up quicker. It's, it's, it's basically just like a PvP tweaked variant of uh, the uh, PvE build that I was showing you guys before. But see how we're sustaining alacrity on ourselves. It's very good. 
good. I should have stayed probably for the next warlock there. You see, just it's a constant army. It's just it's like a minion monster build, but uh, housed in the mesmer profession. And then what well, the new patch has given us here is if this wasn't just a golem that does nothing, we'd be getting random interrupts out. And now the random interrupts are giving us more phantasms even quicker. The phantasms are coming up even faster now. That's the idea. It's a very funny build. I really like playing this, honestly. Just to just, like chill out and have a bit of fun. Not being competitive or anything. You'll notice I'm not using C split here as well. In any way, that was a bad heal as well. Generally, in game, I'll try and be quite hands off with the heal. So I'm interested in what uh, continue or what the new uh, the new chaotic interruption does with this. That build I uploaded made you fall in love with open world mesmer again. I'm glad to hear it, man. I don't like open world mesmer much. I think it's really weak. I fucked that up again. I think it's really weak. Um, it's not fun to play to me. But uh, that build is very, very, very good. The thing is, you know, it's it, what I'm trying to say, I guess, is leveling on a mesmer feels really lame and slow. And stuff. Trigger that because we're going to get a double one in, so we'll lose a bit of efficiency if I don't. Almost ran out of shatter cooldowns. <clears throat> that was actually reasonable value. Uh, so, yeah, um, we're just waiting for a key pop really here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. So, by the way, um, oh shit, we don't have this set up. Oh, I'm on an assassin's amulet here. That's really weird. But, like, going Berserker or Assassins is actually a good idea on this. You're, like, ultra squishy and you're just going to die, obviously. But, um, why am I on... Oh, and I'm on Thief Runes for the... It's a little bit weird. Let's go Berserker, Scholar. Because you just want them to hit. You just want them to hit really hard. What's going on with these? Courage and Doom. Why would I put Doom on a build like this? There's very little value you get out of most of this stuff. I think Cleansing is better, though. Interestingly, uh, Tech Zune, who is helping me, I, I want to produce like a 25 hour uh, commentary on Guild Wars 2's Tyria open world of map completion. And someone's actually doing the footage for me at the moment, which is super cool. Um, and they're getting it, they're clocking in about an hour per map comp, and there's about 25 maps. So there you go. Uh, but they're doing that on a Mesma. Am I going to make a video about the debate of build templates? I'm going to make a video talking about the stream and the information of build templates. I don't think there's a debate to be had, though, so I'm not having a debate. I will dictate to people that they're an idiot if they're upset, and then that's about as far as I'll go. You reached for Wesden Mouse when you heard that sound? Which Which sound? So, Condi Thief, by the way, will just shit on me. Like, ultra shit on me. Because I have very limited cleanse. I have, uh... This is why cleansing is very good. Oh, actually, I do kind of have some cleanse. See the Reaper in there using all those animations? It's not actually hitting anything of value. Um... And I give him pl plasma as well, so... We got his dagger storm before he even did anything. Oh, one of my enemies pinged. Oh, no, he didn't. My, none of my enemies pinged it. Hey, WP, when are you releasing the rest of the PvE build videos? Wow. Nobody's asked me that yet. Uh, but the next one will be very soon, probably. It'll be probably Warriors. Oh, I don't know about leveling in PvP. I think that would take a long time. Mind you, you do get a lot of times. Maybe you could level in PvP. Apparently our inventory is full. Okay, so I'm going to just stealth everyone up. I do not have blink on this build, apparently. So we get that early weapon swap there, right? 
Okay, that guy's dead. Too many minions there. Let's see if we can get an interrupt. Uh, cancel that. I don't need. I don't. I don't need to do that. Get on the Reaper. He's out of range. Berserk is doing nothing. I can hit him. He can climb down, and then my minions won't do stuff to him. Get some more alacrity. He comes bombing in. I will do this now. Uh, out, out of range. Interrupt in the middle of that. Is that enough to get our greatsword cooldowns back out? I don't think so. Let's keep the alacrity going. Look at my army here. Look at all this shit. This is just all me. It's not that he's doing much else. I can't uh, phase retreat towards him and get a clone out of it. So I'm just going to wait. <clears throat> Here, you, you guys should see a good demonstration here. It's going to be a 1v1. I'm going to open in stealth. Oh, I revealed myself with the impact. And he's got to... Uh, he's got to kill me. Two storms. Interrupt. <laughs> like, look at this. It's only me. Look, Imagine what their minimap looks like. Imagine what their minimap is showing with like a fucking hundred Mesmers. <clears throat> You've been playing about 20 days, you have over a hundred tomes, all from PvP, mind you. There are a lot of hours played from a hospital bed because nothing else you can do. Oh, I hope you're not uh, too sick or poorly. What are you doing in a hospital bed? So Chaotic Interruption did something there. We can proc it out of the twice out of the defenders. Our teams are just slaughtering them at the moment. It's not really me. This guy spun or shivers. My guys all running. So this is kind of what you want. You want the phantasms to, to be running, right? So we got him range on that. Can heal up. Hit this. Uh, Reaper. So here, that's a big divert. Hopefully we can get some interrupts. Get the five out. Does that interrupt? It hit the wrong skill. It didn't hit the one we wanted. I'm uh, very poorly positioned right now in front of their spawn. I have no sense of what they're doing. I'm going to stealth up there. Oh, fuck. That's a big trap mess. Who was it that triggered that? We're all very low. Interrupt. That's good. Oh, 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 fuck. Did you see I got CC? But uh, what we actually had there... Come on, Chaos Storm. Big interrupt. Oh, my God. Do we get two Chaos Storms? Oh, no. Oh, the continuum split. Wait, hold on. Did I just get... Could I have just double Chaos Stormed? Oh, I have to rewatch the VOD of that or, or a clip of that. Did you guys see? I think I Chaos Stormed. Got, like, four interrupts. And Chaos Storm was my only cooldown. So I think Chaos Storm came back instantly. But then I couldn't cast it because C-Split came up. Did you guys see that? I don't know what it hit there. We got an interrupt. You can just farm interrupts out of Necros. We need to do another game that's more real. Did you guys see that? Mm. Someone's asking me for Mesmer Chrono tips. I I'm not a Chrono, really. I, I don't really know how to play Chrono. We can just super over rotate now. There's very little <laughs> smart stuff going on anymore. We can stealth this guy as we go in. I don't want to just, uh, uh, mind you, it's a fucking necro. He's probably going to get farmed by the dead eye. Thieves guild. That's actually kind of good for us. We can get more interrupts out of them. There, I got a thieves guild interrupt. I'm guessing that that hit my uh, great source two down on the other side. Yeah, I think it did. I think it did. I shouldn't have healed there. Interrupt. What do we get? The mirror blade came back. It's like a little goodie bag every time you get an interrupt. Ooh, what did we hit this time? Come out of the DH. Ah, oh, that was a big uh, evade slash obstruct. It means that a lot of my stuff's not there. I almost feel like putting five mirages on, uh, putting five chronos on this build would actually be a lot more funny than uh, than the uh, the other variant that we were looking at before. 
Oh, he's PP. Okay. I'm gonna Chaos Storm on top of myself because I, I need the mitigation. I'm actually dying. I got a fucking guy behind me. My Warlock killed that Reaper and I don't even know how. I, don't, I, I literally don't know how that... Wh why was he targeting that? Did he walk into the laser beam? This is pretty much the worst build I could play against noobs because they're gonna get such a horrible impression of, P of uh, PvP. That fucking well. Look at that. He's cra is he Chrono Support? What the fuck? That was such a big heal from his well. What the fuck? Uh, weapon swap too late? No, I didn't. Okay, we don't get too much here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this field. Look at it. I'm really sorry, guys, but what the fuck? This class. <laughs> uh, this poor guy. Like, what the shit? Uh, I hope after I'm done with the first batch of videos, am I going to do the alternative with two other elite specs? Uh, it's an idea for sure. Knock him back. It's not an interrupt, but whatever. We stealth. Top kills and damage. All right, let's let's um let's do the dead eye was not on me at all. He's full support chrono. That's hilarious. That's fucking funny. Uh, is there another version? No, I think we're going to move on now, guys. I think we're going to go... Oh, well, okay. Look, I will do it once more. If everybody wants to play this build, I will do one cheese game where we have all five people on Chrono playing this build. Yeah, and so if you guys currently might... Well, let's do it this way. If you guys want to do that, join my party now. Join my party and we'll do it, everyone on this build, just to completely spam the screen. I think that'll be really funny. It's going to be a lot worse than Minion Monsters, five Minion Monsters, in terms of like visual noise and stuff. If you guys want to do it, go for it. Uh, send me an invite. If I can get five players, we'll do that. And don't worry, I'll read the build out. If you don't know what the build is, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll handhold you through it, okay? So just join on a chrono. And when we have, when I see four chronos with me here, I'll, uh, I'll show you the exact variant I'm running. So we would be looking for two more players on EU that would want to just cheese, play a stupid unranked game where we cheese it out. So that's three players. Is there one more player? We just need one more, and then I'll show you the stuff. Bambi says he's logging in. Well, someone else might nick your spot. But that sounds like we've got four at least. All right, there you go. Sorry, Bambi. It looks like someone else is coming. Okay, so guys, uh, put on a staff and a great sword. And by the way, I hope you actually know like what a phantasm is and what buttons are what buttons, all right? As long as you 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 know the, the fundamentals, okay? You're going to go staff and you're going to go great sword. The GS4 is uh, four phantasms. Sorry, the GS4 is eight phantasm. What is it? No, it's four. And then this one's four as well. So the Warlocks and the Phantasm, what you want to do when you aggro is you want to cast the Warlocks and Weapon Swap first. So that you're not even in combat yet. Now you you have the freedom to use this, the heal, and, and, and get back, right? Like I can do this. And now my heal is hitting the war hit the Warlocks on the other side, right? So you see how I've cast my Warlocks again before the old ones have even left. So we're just spamming the screen with shit, okay? Uh... Then for utilities, you're going to run the heal skill, Signet, which uh, refreshes Phantasm cooldowns. You're going to run double Phantasm, the Disenchanter, and the uh, Defender. And then I'm running a stealth mechanic. I'm running Decoy, but this is up for you. You could go uh, Blink. You could take a Well. You could do whatever you like. It's totally up to you. I don't. This is a free slot for you. I, I just tried another stealth. And I'm running Mass Invis. So the idea is, if you look very carefully, I Mass Invis, I'm in stealth. And because I physically don't hit with the Warlocks, and I physically don't hit with my utilities and stuff, I'm still stealth as all of this stuff's getting spammed out right now. I'm still stealth. And then Mass Invis runs out, right? But it, it means that someone's getting cleaved and hit, and the, the army is coming, and they can't actually do anything yet. That's why I like Mass Invis. You could run Gravity Well if you like. You know, just because we're a whole team of this fucking absurdity. So there you go. As for... Uh, Stuff, uh, you really do basically no damage on this build, just to be clear. So I'm running Berserker and Scholar. You could do other things. You could put Infiltration on there. You could go Marauder instead. I would actually think round it out a bit more if you guys like do whatever you like. But there you go. And then do what you like with the sigils. But so for the lines, I'm on Domination Chaos Chrono at the moment. 
We're going Chaos for Chaotic Interruption. You could run Inspiration if you want. I don't mind if you go Inspiration. Inspiration gives you another double Phantasm. You get CC'd and you get a Taunter comes out. And he respawns himself as a Taunter. So you could do Inspiration. Inspiration also gives you Aegis with the Phantasms. What I don't recommend is uh, Illusions. I know illusion seems really good because you've got all the might and it's like, oh, Phantasmal Force. It's actually not as good as you think it is. And also, Phantasms having quickness. I know that sounds really good, but what it means is they use their animation and then they delete themselves of the board quicker. So the spectacle is less so. Does that, does that make sense? And also... When you do this, someone can just dodge your greatsword four, and then there you go, the you know the the big sweeps and stuff. But now, like it, it actually feels better to space them out. I I I I I, uh, I promise. Anyway, so yeah, I am uh, I'm cheesing it out with the chaos thing. So as far as chaos is concerned, I've got chaotic interruption. I've gone chaotic dampening for the staff stuff, and you know this means that we get more warlocks more regularly because the cooldowns lower, and also we get more chaos storms, which is more interrupts, which is more chaotic interruption procs. And then also I'm taking a chaos storm on the hill as well, which is another chance to proc chaotic interruption. Just because of the new builds, do that's what I'm doing. Up here for domination, I've taken extra damage on the illusions, give myself quickness when I interrupt, and the most important one is imagined burden. This doubles your greatsword guys okay so i'm domination i'm chaos and then i'm chrono i'm taking chrono phantasma to double all the phantasms i'm taking danger time and delayed reactions which means we put slow out and then all of our phantasms do extra damage on slowed foes so there you go that's the idea that's the build it's on screen you guys can set that up if we get queuing in now believe me you'll have time to make the build the three of you that are still too slow just hit accept make the build while you're loading in it's going to take a while for us to match make oh I think we're not allowed to match make because we have too many of the same class. So a couple of you guys are going to have to queue on an ult. Actually, I'll just do it on an ult. And then swap back to the chrono in a second. So I'll, I'll, I'll come on a reaper, I guess. So I'll do it that way. There you go. So this should be good. And now we can queue it. All right. There you go, guys. So that's the idea. Uh, I probably shouldn't have swapped so that everyone else can set their build up or whatever. But that's good. All right, we're matchmaking in. This will be really funny. I think this will be very, 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 very funny. <laughs> By the way, guys, on this build, you are extremely squishy. Can I just be very clear? You will die, like, instantly when someone touches you. You are very, very squishy. If you're running Blink, don't press Blink to move around. Blink is only there to get yourself away. Don't ever fucking use it. Don't like, because you are, you're not racing to be of value. You are racing to your death, okay? If you're running Blink, don't use Blink to like move out of the gate and shit like that. Hold it. It is so precious. Um, and if you're going more stealth oriented, make sure you know when your stealth's leaving, when you can get the fuck away or when you're going to pretend to be a clone or something. Because you will instantly die. Honestly, you have no quality of life. You've got nothing. You've got like some chaos storms you can maybe hide in. That's about it. Wouldn't build templates be useful? Uh, somewhat. I mean, I just have different characters set up with different things. But, um... Oh, you mean for me to share to you all? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That would be very cool if I could just share that. I mean, it's cool. We'll get it by the end of the month. Oh, not by the end of the month. You know, within a month. Looking forward to it. Yeah, Cougar, I think the class restriction's new. I, I didn't know about it either. I think it's new. I think I, I don't know whether anyone's told me that... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's true. Not in PvP. <laughs> we won't even get it for PvP. Yeah, you guys can fuck with it if you like, but just make sure you have the core principle of Chrono Phantasma, Staff, and GS, right? Like, that's the main thing. And then the domination trait, too. That, that's where most of your spam's coming out. You could have, we could have some tankier guys, we could have some uh, more aggressive guys. The enemy isn't gonna know which Phantasm is attached to a Paladin amulet versus which Phantasm is attached to a 25 might Berserker amulet. They're not gonna know. So you could definitely mix it around if you like, as long as we're, like, paired off, you know? It's been here for years. Okay. Interesting. I, d I didn't know. I really didn't know. I like this, though. I like doing the cheesy, like, full, uh, full things. Uh, the other thing I'd recommend, guys, is if you really want to max cheese this, 
wear big obnoxious armor. Uh, and then also your title, have a really long title because it will make the nameplate super huge. So I've been running God Walking Amongst Me Immortals on that character. Like, no lie. I've been running God Walking Amongst Me Immortals. Make sure you you rep a guild that has like the big, uh, you know, the long name tag. You could do that. Because it's just as much about the nameplate spam as it is anything else. And people d generally won't have that turned off. Your actual physical setup, a lot of people run standard nameplates, so whatever. But you notice my character name is Illusionary Warlick. It's like, it's going to be impossible to see me in the, in, the, in the field of other shit. But yeah, so I was running uh, God Walking Amongst Mimals. Just find anything with a lot, of, a lot of text on there. Because every single clone, every single phantasm and clone will come out saying that it is a god walking amongst mere mortals or what, what, what have you. <clears throat> and by the way, if anyone wants to come into the pit and show me them using the build against this reaper. It's probably a really good idea for you guys to come into the pit. I'm a weak ass little fucking stupid minion build here, so you can fight me. Um, between the two of us in a 1v1 like that, it would be so many minions. So, you know, you can practice mass invising and stuff like that. Just make sure you know, with mass invis, right? And, like, if you are, if you mass invis and you open with Greatsword 4, Greatsword 4 is summoning those phantasms, which doesn't put you in combat. But Greatsword 4 also throws a blade out, which will. So you want to, like, cancel cast the creation of the thing. So he invis magneted me. He's so squishy. What the fuck, Nocta? A uh, line of sighted the uh, the uh, five. I can use the, the four through the wall. I can use rise through the wall. He's going for the big damage now. Otherwise, he loses. I'm being attacked by a fucking mesmer. Hey, he's on flamethrower. Oh no, he got the. I don't have any cleanse. Oh, he gets a good dodge. Quickness, spinal shivers. Okay, the mirages are arriving. Okay, <laughs> the mesmers are here. The mesmers are here. Okay, we got we got a cube as well. I just want them to know how squishy they are, so I just want to fucking punch them around a bit. Life siphon. Ooh, the five target life siphon. That's huge. The uh, weakness is kind of nice. I mean, I definitely think the Death Nova thing's better than the Chaos Storm Phantasm spam. He gets a dodge. And then the quickness cast actually uh, caused him to be able to... No! Oh, the early fear. Dude, is he Sunless? Is he Sunless Herald? I love Sunless Herald. Do you see how his fear... Basically, he presses the elite and it uh, the flip over, the facet... Which starts giving pulsing protection. It doesn't do anything but pulse protection on him. But if you're Sunless Runes, it does a mini fear. And then the mini fear chain CCs you into the uh, the actual Dragon Blast. What a cool combo, right? Oh, what the fuck? Somebody cancelled our Q. Are you serious? The fact that you see Magnet and Stealth is why Mesmer is stupid. If it was Mesmer, you wouldn't see shit. Yeah, no. Well, there used to be a really cheesy stack discharge build that um, everyone ran on, on NG way back when. And it was Magnet Stealths were coming out. And the devs deliberately changed it so you could see it in stealth. And they need to do shit like that with, like... I don't know. Can you see Mirror Blade? I think you can. But people do it in, like, melee. So it's kind of hard to... Uh... Holy shit, we got 10k. He's definitely on a zero, uh, zero toughness setup there. Zero toughness, light armor. Gonna have a good time. Hello, Chronos. <laughs> oh. oh, he's a uh, beast. Is WP really legendary? No, I'm uh, I'm trash. Gotta keep the focus. Whoa, that was a fast fucking push. What was that from though? Oh, was that a magnet? It wasn't a push. It felt like a rev down state almost. 
We get the five ups for some health. Oh shit, we're getting taunted. Get those autos. Yeah, baby. Oh, I love it after the port. I always hate dying like that. It's so cheesy. He's dead. And he waypointed instantly. Okay, get the rise up. Damn it. Oh, oh, oh. The GS5 through the pillar. He knows. Get the worm over there. The respawn behind me is really scary, so I'll pull back. Get the blinds up. Trail them in. That's it. Beat the clones up. Ah, oh, he messed up his GS4. I saw that. No GS4 for you. Five through the wall. Yeah. Man, what, what the fuck is with this Q? Why did the match not start? I don't know. I think one of us cancelled it or one of them cancelled it. I'm not sure. I don't want to just bully Nocta. There you go. This is good, though. This is all good. This is all good prep so that everyone like gets a real sense of the build. <laughs> it's just dead Chronos on the floor. Look at this. <laughs> all the dead in the pit right now are my party members. <laughs> oh, God. You don't die and you play Reaper, then you're playing against bad players. If you're a Reaper and you're going against a good Scourge, you're going to die. Sorry, but that's just the situation. Alright. Am I using hybrid? No, I'm just power. I'm just power. We didn't try a uh, hybrid um, minion Reaper. Alright, we can swap now. Am I using hybrid? Uh, sorry, you play with one hand. You don't die in game, you play with one hand and you play a Reaper. Well, it's real impressive. Uh, hybrid seems like it'd be good with the poison over. Well, it's called poison over, but it's really a flat damage skill. All right, that's it. Let's swap, baby. All right. <laughs> it's a shame it's forest. Really, we're better in open fields. Forest is like the worst map we could be on, because what's going to happen is uh, like they'll go to an up or down a kite spot, and then the like the phantasms you already have are going to try and path. Like instead of just fighting, they go Ooh, and then about here on their way, they they like, well, I don't know where I'm going and then they like despawn. It's very bad. It's a very bad map for pet for pet builds. Any more just yank the shirt the scourge out of a shade. It's an interesting point that there is a big difference with scourge. That we probably should look at. That's a lot of fucking booms by the way. Oh, this guy's super squishy. Like me. Stay in the chaos storm. Ooh, the orbital command. <laughs> fuck. Holy fuck. Is it Elixir S or is it Sneak Gyro? I don't know. Okay, he's gone. Okay, this guy's squishy, guys. <laughs> Super fucking squishy. Uh, he almost one shot me with Hammer 2. He's Elixir's, uh, like, fucking Zerk. Alright, look, look. We gotta, we gotta go together. You go together, and it's like, you know. That fucking hammer. He's seen the hammer buffs. And he has he has learned. There you go, Elixir S. That's it. That's it. Chaos Storm. This is it. <laughs> this is gonna be very funny, guys. <laughs> this is gonna be very funny. <laughs> Alright, uh Yeah, yeah, let's go side gate. I'll mass invis. Don't don't double the mass invises up, okay. I did that early because I don't want them. But not all of us have to go to our gate. Alright, if none of them push across. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, he rocket boots and uh, fucked me. The guy behind us, the, the Mesmer, the Mesmer, the Mesmer behind us. Look at look at our warlock, it's basically back because of the interrupt. Oh guys, you can't die. You can't you can't you're squishy, remember guys, you're squishy. Alright? Oh, I died to a thief using steel. What a surprise. 
You guys have to like, you have to, you can't go melee. You're not like a fucking warrior or something. You have to cast the phantasms from far away. Yeah. And you have to keep the gap. You are never near the enemy. You will die. I don't know how many times to say that. You have to hide in stealth and you have to spam the ship from far away. All right. Or at least be in a chaos storm. He's in AED, so he's nowhere near dead, just by the way. Don't try and res either. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go anywhere near any of these fucking players. Oh my god. I think I got like one shot by... Um, uh, oh no, I just got mauled by the, the ranger at the same time. There was a blunderbuss as well. Holy fuck. Yeah, you could go PVT on it, definitely. All right, well, we just lose. This is like... The other games, we, uh, we were, uh, you know, just had nonsense free wins. Okay, I can res this, though. This one's okay. He knows because of the back. Never mind. Out of range. We're just getting to him. All right. Well, there's no fun to be had here. That's it. It's over. The game is over. It's not going to happen. We're just getting spawn camped on the right. Alright, well, next game we'll do Ranger and then, um, and then we'll close it down. Yeah, they have a scrapper that gets to use the reveal thing as well. That's true, actually. We'll just uh, run out and get ourselves farmed and killed so that the game's over quicker. Oh, what the fuck? He's stealth next to me, so... Oh no, he's not. He's, he's over here. For fuck's sake. I'm coming here to be farmed. Well, we got two decaps. All right, if people are trying, I'll try as well. All right, I'll go decap them on far. I mean, they're all dying, though. Uh, and he hasn't looked at the minimap, so he's wasting his time. Yeah, nobody's a tank is definitely a thing, yeah. I mean... It I think it could work. I really do think it could. I don't think it's competitive or anything. It's probably a good thing that a comp like this gets slaughtered, right? Let's be real. But it's getting slaughtered so quick, we can't even, like... It's not even funny anymore, that's the thing. Uh, I, I healed too early. I don't know why I did that. Got so much to break through in terms of S and AD and stuff. Okay, we get a kill. Get feared. Out of range with the chance fuse. That's fucking super, super lame. He reses. We have no other cleave. I think one of the biggest issues with Guild Wars, right? Is if you're trying to do something fun and stupid and weird, you can't just like pull random to do it because other people will like, who who actually play PvP and spend more time in it will, or or know the their own builds. I, I don't know how to express what I'm trying to say. Oh, by the way, we get double rogues, and then when they hit from behind, you can get like quad rogues. It's pretty good. Yeah, oh, someone said, wait, was that personal battering ram in my combat log? Yeah, that's what I thought earlier when I died. I thought I got personal battering ram. 
I, that's what I was trying to say. That's what I looked at the combat log for. I thought I, w I got personal battle rounds. That's what it felt like. And then I looked and I saw like overcharge shot. And then I got confused because I was like, well, hold on. they the, It's a scrapper with a hammer. And and then I started thinking, well, do they have a hollow as well? And then and then I, I, I ended up not saying it out loud. But I thought I was personal battle round. But when I saw the overcharge shot on there, I thought, oh, it was just overcharge shot. And maybe I got days somehow on the back of it at the same time so it felt like that all right well there you go very fun all right let's uh let's do ranger then so pff, ranger i'm really very i have very little to say or think about really let's uh let's just go in and see um what i'd like to try is kind of a a, a high pressure kind of um uh a pew pew longbow build um, that uh, that uses this with smoke scale. So let's see. Let's try and uh, figure this out. So what I want to do is I want to go smoke scale, and I just want to like stealth out like comfortably with this a lot. I want to go marksmanship. Okay, why is it abandoned? Why is someone aggroed a thing onto me? Is that my own pet that did that? What the fuck? Why is my smoke scale fighting the warrior? Come here. I'm trying to make a build. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to run Owl in the other set. I'm going to run um, uh, a Marauder Amulet. With uh, Scholar Runes, probably. Uh, leadership. I'd rather do Leadership. We're going to run this. We're going to take uh, lightning reflexes. We're going to put it on that slot. Okay, what are you guys doing? Can we queue? Um, I'm going to do uh, QZ for another stun break. And I'm going to do Signet Stone, probably. Something like that. And then uh, I'm going to have, we can try, well, normally I'd have Warhorn in the other set, but I mean, Dagger Off is something to try as well, I guess. So let's see how Dagger Off feels on a power setup with the power buff on such Stalker's Strike, we'll see. I, guess. I mean, Warhorn's very much something I look for. Anyway, we're going to take Marksmanship. We're going to take Wilderness Survival. We're going to drop the cooldown of Survival Skills. And we're going to run... Oh, no, 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 not marksmanship. We're going to run um, skirmishing. Wait. Or is it marksmanship? I think it is. Where the fuck is... Oh, is it Beastmaster? Yeah, it is. We're going to run uh, Zephyr Speed. Uh... Fury when we disable, is that really relevant? I don't think it is, right? Because we get we get it when we weapon swap. More than enough. So I'll probably go Wilting Strike. Probably take uh, I don't I don't care about command. Oh, there are heal. Actually we can so we can take the command trait if we really want. We can take soften the fall. Uh, refined toxins probably I like refined toxins now do we want a stun break out of this we already have two and we have an involved mechanism using a beast ability gives us fury but when is that relevant with the smoke scale I guess it's relevant right uh, and quickness well maybe it's not actually let's take fresh reinforcement oh I really want warhorn uh, what else changed with this Impressive superiority. And like essence of speed, I guess. And we'll we'll try that way, I guess. So I don't know though, this is more brawlery. The, the these skills here, they're more brawlery. I need to remember how this works as well. I mean we'll see. Yeah, you guys were struggling to queue because we have too many uh, Mesmers, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, sorry. I, I thought I put Owl on. Did I not put Owl on? Why do I not remember talking about and scrolling to Owl and equipping an Owl? Oh, it's probably right as I clicked it was when we were in combat. And then I never went back and changed it again. So the four is a little evade. I very uh, rarely ever use this skill, right? It's a little evade. And then if they have, like, cripple or some shit on them, um... I do extra damage, basically. And the five is like a little throw-in talon that will actually apply the cripple. Plus a bit of bleed and a bit of flat damage. <coughs> but yeah, the idea here is uh, that we can move, basically. And you can still do the about-face thing on the three. You can still kind of do your double leap. They've just reconfigured where the stuff is. I'll get really used to this because once I start fighting, I'm going to be really bad. Not knowing exactly what they've got. So can I more regularly move now? Like, how has this affected my pot total potential movement? The owl cooldown was a bit weird there. Does it feel any better? Well, I think it does. It's got an th interesting thing where when you leap in, if you land the serpent strike, it refreshes the, like... What does it refresh? Oh no, this. This refreshes. So basically the idea is you go in, you move around, and then when if you land this as you jump out, it allows you to jump back in. It's kind of weird. What do I have to block? Oh shit, we've got a short bow. No, we got a short bow. Fuck. All right, this is now awful. All right, we, we, we could try. We're power short bow, guys. This is not good. We're, we're fucking sword dagger. I wonder how this is gonna feel. It feels like I'm gonna die. Is how it feels. I've got so much pressure on me. What the fuck? What's my what? Ah, I signet a stone, but I I'm not even gonna rally. Ugh, I'm not even thinking. Yeah, I know, right? I know. It's not good, guys. It's not good. Is it doing anything? The Talon hit for 3k? That hollow is going to fuck me up. Need to not be near him. We wiped in mid. Much fault of my own. I don't want to be in a fight here, realistically. What the fuck can I do? I just have to run around and hope that I'm value somehow, somewhere. Oh my god. And I... I've, I fucked my binds up as well. Okay, this guy was on me big earlier. And he's probably uh, keen to do it again. So, let's get the fuck out. Look at how, how spammy this guy is. You did, dude. Um, this guy's just sitting here staring at us. Block, 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 block. Just fire around things. Okay, apparently I am 100% of the focus right now. Look at that. What the fuck are you guys doing? I'm like, no, I'm low priority. I do nothing. I do nothing. This is actually kind of good, I guess. Because it's a means for me to get value. As they waste their time killing a guy that does nothing. Like, it's kind of good. My muddy terrain was fucking OP there, by the way. Free bullshit on the uh, on thingy. This guy's still following me. I'm getting killed by the other guy now. And this guy jumps back in. Missed time that. Turns out Shortbow has taunt. <laughs> I know, right? But my team's dying, though. Somebody died here in a 1v1, I think. Or a 2v1? Hold on, what the fuck? My warrior's there, right? 
So my warrior and my necro were on close, right? And the necro died and the warrior left. So the enemy got a 2v1 there. What was it that was standing on this node a second ago and has just walked off? What is it? What's that? Firebrand? Uh, I can't even stay for the full cap because everyone's dead. I need to get back now. Need to help this guy, but I don't really have anything I can do. He didn't keep kiting towards the base, which is what I thought he was going to do. I'm waiting for our guys to respawn. Let's get those quickness short bow autos going. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. Yeah! Oh my god. Uh... Stab stomp plus uh, signet of stone so I don't get blown up. Fucking double dodging everywhere. Good emobe there. Not get another one. Okay. Bait one back. Pew pew this guy. How fast are you? Quickness fucking short though. That's crazy. Stop coming to raid. Uh, heal myself and my team. I get CC. I get killed. They gotta rally me. Like right now. Good shit. This guy's so hard for me. <laughs> I can heal my team. It's okay. I'm a support. I'm a support short bow power. Look, he's a weaver as well. Have you ever known a weaver to chase like this? Okay, we throw the talent. No. I get to chase now. Super speed. Throw the talent? No, oh, it would have been so good if we got the talent there. Oh, I could have used the two. Fuck. Should have thought about that. QQ, baby. Alright, there's a lot of them coming. That's right. Uh, my necro is in such a throw position right now. I've got to go help him. There's so many coming behind me. Yeah, what they, what's he got? Okay, I'll break the Aegis. I got you. Okay, good. I win him the node from that. We've got to go help the others now. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Interrupt the uh, worldly impact. Very good. Beat the shit out of him. Yeah! Quick the autos. Let's get Rampage up. Does he go into the orb? No. The lamp, sorry. We preempt. We go this way. Okay, good, 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 good. The worldly impact landed. Hard CC. He's got stab. Fucking short bow jumping me back. I don't know short bow. <laughs> I have no muscle memory for short bow. We're going to go help the necro. Leave the pet on it. So that he doesn't uh, thingy. Come on, towards me, towards me. I got a heal. I got a heal for you. Oh, he did it! What a god! He he actually did it. On this, this is the good, the good, the good thing. I don't have. Uh, yeah, don't die in the pyro vortex. Whatever you do. Okay. Uh, I'm out. Sorry, man, but that's a bit fucking hot, hot right there. Yeah. the J.I. No, the um, oh, wait, 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 wait. We can still do some. This would actually be kind of cool if I had a fucking longbow. Look at this shit. Can it run me? Oh my god, our dagger four into his last no into his flanking strikes. Beautiful. Can heal again. Gotta be careful. Okay, this is it. Short bow. Oh, we get the stealth. Got killed by Rupert with the axe. More stab. On the team's ping. Got it. Big damage because a rally might be necessary. Wait a second for the Reaper to die. He heals. So fuck it. Get that five out. Oh, 1,000 damage, baby. Here we go. Ooh, 1,600. Oh, we're winning, guys. We're winning. Get in. CC. 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 Nice. 
the big shotgun on the two with the power pressure. Oh, no, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, the, the, the double kill worldly impact from a short bow. Uh, fucking ranger. Oh, I wish I had axe off hand right now. Holy shit, imagine if I had axe off hand. We're gonna cleave this. It's good. No, no stab has its problems. Can we get through? Res, 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 res. You got this, you got this. I will resist a lot of you. So his burns don't matter. Come on. Uh, it's time to leave. We lost the team fight. Oh, did we lose the team fight? Oh, shit. Oh, he got a kill. Throw the talent in. Ooh, right into that barrier. This guy's going for the uh, big... Uh, big bandage. Holy shit. Short by autos. What the fuck is that with quickness? Does anything shoot from range faster than that? Are you guys hearing that? Oh my god, the ultimate fucking uh, kick. Oh, that's actually new balance as well. Yeah, that was another thing from Ranger as well. Oh, we're winning, guys. We actually got this. It's, this is it. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Go to the set to three. Fuck. Okay. No! Oh, he got me. I was going for the. Uh... Oh, I should have. I should have owl. I should have. Uh, it's fine. He got the. Um, you know the, the the pull. Right as I was about to uh, bug out. <clears throat> you think nailed rifle three with quickness? Wow, that's not an auto. That's a multi-hit attack. That would be the same with volley on a or warrior or whatever. That's not the same. That's one animation that has multiple packets coming up. That's like saying barrage is quicker. It's not. It's not. What I mean. But this. That's nuts. That's one ability. It's like a volley volley speed. Alright, we just gotta keep him away for a second. So yeah, we, 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 we make the big play. Come on. Oh no, they're not doing it anymore. Why is that I'm always getting chased when I don't when I'm trying to be valuable? But then, I, I think it's because they've realized. Top healing. <laughs> it's just like before. It doesn't actually mean anything. Well, there you go, guys. That's the uh, the build zoo for this patch. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Congratulations to the winner of the Aureen shirt. I'll be back tomorrow for more Guild Wars 2 Master. Uh, same time every day. It's been a lot of fun, guys. Uh, have a good evening. And I will see you all uh, very shortly. Catch you next time, guys. Ta-ta!